Well, now that people can hear about your bad couch, I've I've hit I'm the button. It. I'm they should be it able to, to hear you on that. Discord. Oh, wonderful. This is uh this is the picture of the state of the run button couch. Um is this And uh where am I so, getting Okay, there you go. My they're trying Oof. To, I know, right? That's rough. Bad. Yeah. It's really rough. And so all of those pieces are just around. <laughs> All of the bits uh, that have yeah. flipped off. I thought, like, my headphones have a little bit of this going on. Like, a little yeah. bit of this going yeah. on. Yeah, totally. But this is excessive. This is what happens to a fake leather couch from Amazon from seven years ago mm-hmm. that cost $270 or whatever. You know, for seven... It lasted seven years. That's something. It did last seven years. Structurally, it's totally fine. It was never yeah. the most comfortable couch, but... Uh, uh, my, they're trying to move my grandfather out of his house and into his new house because that house has been sold. Okay, for... I thought he died. I'll be real. When you were like, I got stuff from my grandfather. I was like, assumed it was an estate thing. I'm glad no, that he's not. No, it was my dead. dad that died. It okay, my, yeah. Oh, my grandfather just. I got moved. stuff mixed up. My bad. Yeah. Um, he's just moving from his enormous house into um a a smaller house that's near to my uncle mm. um and uh it, and my dad was living there for like 2 years um before he died and so he has a bunch of stuff including furniture upstairs on the third floor and uh I've got a bunch of furniture because they were like we're going to throw out this furniture or yeah. donate it do you need anything and I was like I need that love seat hell yeah yeah the run button love seat Yep, upgrade 2.0 it's a it's a nice couch too it's like bright red oh dude hell yeah i love a red couch yeah me too there's bright something red leather couch Ooh, For... i always think of the, like um i had this like really tiny shitty like fake like vinyl love seat when i was like a teenager that mm-hmm. I would like sit in and play games, even though I was way too tall for it, and is probably one of the reasons why I have kind of shitty knees now. Um, Fair. And even though it was probably the worst thing I've ever sat on, I still think about it nostalgically. It eventually it was broke. The because worst I was... because it was uncomfortable, or because you've blamed it on your knees. Because it was uncomfortable. Okay. It like wasn't a nice material to feel, but it looked. It was bright red, and I liked that about it. You know, I have one of those. I have one of those too, which is um, for Christmas one year. I had like this really uh, or or uh, not ornate. It was like a big, chunky, very highly functional plastic uh, like entertainment console for the fourteen inch um, tube TV that was in my room that I played original Xbox and Dreamcast on. Mm. Uh, and you know, it had like spots for all my games and it had spots for the consoles underneath. Yeah. It's like imagine an entertainment console for a kid made of plastic. It's that. Uh, and I one year for Christmas, my mom got me like a floor chair because it was too low what to down? have a real chair so you'd yeah. have to sit on the floor to use it so i got like a floor chair where it's like a it was like a rocking chair with no legs also made of plastic now how this does... may have been a i'm so price good. ordeal floor chair is like really a, a really like interesting a concept to me like i'm picturing it's is it just the back of a chair basically that goes on the floor no, it is like a crescent that you sit in. Because I got to be real, all chairs are floor chairs. Well, there's no legs, so the there's butt no... of it is on the floor. Oh, I've seen these at Ikea before. Um, Yeah, maybe it's something like Ikea. This is like yeah. a Fisher-Price Toys R Us chair. Sure. Uh, and it was not comfortable, and it was always like cold when you first sat in it and hot by the time you were done. Mm. Um, but I do like... I mean, I spent... 3,000 hours in that chair. Damn. At least. 7,000 more and you would have mastered it. I know. Yeah. But damn. Actually, they, they do have a free chair program at 10,000 hours. So you get another chair. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. That's that's beautiful. Um, We're back to play oh. Richie's Last Reward today. Oh. I'm excited. Did you have something a else? A little bit. Uh, I was just going to say that, uh, oh, Deer Hunter says, uh, at that point, just sit on the floor. It was better than sitting on the floor. Because you could rock back and forth. Yeah, that is that is always a plus. Um, yeah, but I'm. It's been a couple of weeks. We things have been busy. We, you know, 
Friends of the Table kind of been... We've been trucking on some stuff, but you guys aren't, aren't able to hear it yet. I mean, you've been able to hear Media Club Plus, which is out today. Go listen to it af- right after this. Yeah, yeah. Media I'm, Club Plus I'm came serious. out. I'm serious. It was... I finished editing it before I went to bed, so I consider it to have come out last night. Yeah, that's like, fair. Technically, it came out this morning. It... What is time, dude? Like, who cares? You know, it came out within the past 24 hours, so it came out today. I thought you were going to say, what is time anyway? It came out within the past few hundred years. That's also true. Is true. That is also That's true, I though. You were going, I mean, it did time. come out in the it's past. basically brand new. Yeah. I mean, really, if you think about it, like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm deep into abolished time. Fuck the, it. The grand scope of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Am I streaming this to you on Discord? Did I forget to do that? I think you did forget. I did forget to do that. Okay, let's do that before I actually switch over to the game, because you kind of need to see what's going on here. Um, boom, boom, boom. You'll hear that on the stream now. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pumped. We're, we're starting with a puzzle this time, which is nice. Um, yeah. Uh, we didn't do any last time, as far as I remember. Um, and I th- think, I hope we're done having the rules explained to us. Yeah. I had a lot of thoughts uh, about this game the other day mm. and I was going to, I was sure. going to write them down to, uh, uh, talk about them on air and mm. then I didn't. And then you didn't. Well, if any of them come back to you, then let me know. Yeah. I hope they'll, I'm sure hope they'll come back. I'm I was, sh- but I'm primed for VLR thinking. Wonderful. Wonderful. It's like magical thinking. Mm hmm. Okay. Colorful thinking. Is that a, a term for a thing? Is that like. No, a, it's just what happens in this game because of the, the color mix. Oh, you're right. There is a lot of that. Um, so we're in the bee garden. The bee garden? Yeah. Oh, right. The bee garden. Yeah. And we're we're just right in it. It's it's yeah. puzzle time. This looks like bad mist right now. <laughs> it's it's mist, but it's spelled M I S S E D. Um. Right, we're with Alice and Luna. Um, Alice, who betrayed us last time, extremely rude. Yeah, uh, betrayed us. God, that was so frustrating. The prisoner dilemma stuff. Where yeah. They explain for, I think, 45 minutes why the right thing to do in the prisoner dilemma is to cooperate, and then spend another 45 minutes being like, but of course we'd never cooperate. That would be a death sentence. And then another 45 minutes realizing that the only way that we could win is if everybody cooperates. Although the characters haven't realized that yet. Yeah, we've solved it already, but unfortunately we're built different and they're built wrong. Um, So... Uh, I kind of just skipped through them tutorializing how to use arrows, but... Uh, I know about arrows, yeah. Yeah, we know how to... Right, up and... Uh, yeah, you click. Uh, you click on the blue arrow to move. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, so we don't need to know that, whatever that fourth one is. No, you don't. You're good. Oh, 75% will do you well. What's this? Ratchet? A metal a rod. metal rod? Looks like a ratchet. A metal shaft. The tip has an octagonal hole. Or it looks kind of like a wrench. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is the difference between a ratchet and a wrench? I am very not handy. A ratchet is a wrench that you can turn back without... Um, okay, yeah. Without lifting up. It's got the sort of like... Um, ratchet. Yeah, I guess that is literally what it's, it's, it has it's the called. ratcheting mechanism. It does have a ratcheting mechanism. I was like, oh yeah, now I remember what a ratcheting... What ratcheting is. There's fruit. Oh, or Ooh, pepper. Look at that. Oh, it's a, pap- it's a paprika. It's a paprika. No, that's a pepper. Probably a bell pepper. Paprika is what you call the spice you make from them. Uh Uh-huh. Why is it split in half? I just thought... I just believed when uh, Sigma said that, that I was like, oh, I guess it's the specific kind of pepper you make pepper. Literally, it was just like, yeah, no, sure, he can call it that. That Maybe that's just a regional thing. That's... Yeah, that's what we get for trusting Sigma. Damn. This is the lesson of the game. Don't trust anyone, not even yourself. What is the point of having him be wrong about what pepper is called? <laughs> it's just, it's a little characterization. It's just flavor. Yeah, it's yeah. Just a flavor. He's a little silly guy. Is there something in there? Oh, yeah. Let me take a look. I said, oh, yeah, really weird there. 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yellow coin. Oh yeah. Coin. What is that? I didn't think a colored coin would be made of metal. You can get lots of different colored coins by using different alloys. I saw a five cent coin made from brass once and a 10 cent coin made from bronze. Thank you, honey. That, that's funny, because that's like looking at a silver coin and going, that has no color. Yeah, it is. That's colorless. Or it's like being looking at a silver coin and being like, how did they make this gray? <laughs> like, it's also that. Yeah. Um, or it's also not having heard of a penny. Here's a question for people watching the stream, by the way. Is the chat size decent? I changed the settings on that a little bit. Uh, I want to make sure it's legible. I think it looks good, especially in full screen. Awesome. Okay, as long as it's still readable, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> it was really bothering me that I had a white chat panel mm -hmm. over a black background. I was so I, I need to it does look it. like it could be slightly sized up because of the margins, and it's like there's a little space on the bottom. Let me. Yeah, I did. Um, I cropped it a little bit. Okay. Um, maybe I'll just bump up the width a little, and like another. Sorry, the audio is gonna stop while I do this. I should have asked before we really got into things, but it just occurred to me yeah, when I looked okay. over. It looks a little better. Yeah, I think that looks better. Okay, cool. Um, I'm assuming there. Is, I wonder if there's going to be a slot machine like in 999 that we have to put this in. But it would be really weird for it to be out here. Um, yeah. Maybe there are things in the other vegetables too. Tomato. Do you think there might be coins in these tomatoes too? Yeah, I think every every fruit is going to have a different kind of coin. When I start mugging homosexuals at the nightclub. Um, <laughs> maybe, but there are an, are an awful lot of them. They all look the same. If only we had a way to tell which tomato had a coin in it. Do Why? We get a... open them all. It'll take yeah. 40 seconds. They're tomatoes. Damn, okay. <laughs> a white flower with green leaves. A skunk cabbage. The white flower part is actually a leaf. Most flowers are, most... Now, I do believe most petals are leaves, technically. Really? Isn't that just true? Am I just talking out my... I am talking out my ass, but am I wrong? I, I think that... A petal is different than a leaf. Sure, okay. But I don't know if that's true. It could, I mean, it, it could just be like a different kind of way a leaf can be. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a botanist. I'm just very confident in most things I say. Um, look at this Swiffer-ass metal detector. Yeah, that looks cool. I didn't clean my floor with that. I would, too. It's a metal detector. Well, my floor. Where's the floor. detecting part? I think it's the red bit at the end. Okay. You use it to detect metal. What sort of range do you... Okay. I know how the metal detector works. I was hoping for a little more... They're just kind of explaining. It would. It's gonna take longer to explain what a metal detector is, and it would have to open the fruit with no metal detector. Yeah. It looks like a tombstone. <laughs> so the people here are buried. Bur so the people buried here are Mr. Tufui and Miss Ego Eros. This man is stupid. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, that's what it says. Tufui. You go, Eris. I think that that's no, those are not names. That's an epitaph. Yeah, I, I might agree with you, Keith. Something like that they feel represents them or just a phrase they like. Um, what does it mean? Beats me. Any ideas, I only Luna? I speak ancient Egyptian. Damn. It looks like it's Latin, but I don't know what it means either. Hmm. Do you, did you see this? It looks like there's a keyhole down here near the bottom. You're right. Okay. I was hoping one of them would translate it. Yeah. Let's go metal detect some tomatoes. Who of our of our crew, of the greater crew, oh. do you feel is most likely to speak Latin? Um, is it rude to say Ted Miyoji just because he's old? <laughs> no. I think that that's fair. He gives off the vibe of, like, a 
a um, an adjunct professor? Yes, very much so. <laughs> he he does have like academic vibes, like for sure. Yeah. Um, people in the chat are saying K. I believe that too. K doesn't. K would, but then not realize that they understand it, right? Because right. the amnesia stuff. It would be like, yeah. oh, it means this. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to say actually, the grandson, Quark, Quark. Yeah, sure. Um, just being a weird genius kid. Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess he is smart. I guess, I was but gonna say, have we seen that he's a genius? Really? They've they've like implied that he's a genius. Okay. I'll say this: Dio doesn't speak Latin, but he does know a bunch of Latin phrases. Yeah. And he reads Marcus Aurelius. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dio knows certain phrases in different languages. Definitely knows some cert different phrases in other languages, but all of them mean things you don't really want to know. Yeah. This is the tomato I clicked on the first time, too. Great. I literally would have just gotten it the first try, but... Yeah. Great. That, hey, that's adventure gaming. Yeah, it is. Examine freshly picked tomato. Yeah, then open it! Hit it. You have to... No. Why, what is it about the tomato that they don't understand? Just get it. Cucumber, cucumber. Yeah, I don't cucumber, know. Cucumber, cucumber. These cucumbers are so saying. long. Do you think there might be a coin in one of them? Maybe we should just go through one by one and bite into them. That's not a good idea. It actually is a good idea. That's not a terrible idea. It's a nice snack, too. It's better than having a tomato and being like, but I don't know how to get inside. I guess I have to metal detect all of these. <laughs> any of the others cause any reaction? No, just this one. Here you go. Freshly picked cucumber. Great. I'm glad Ted Mioji isn't here, because he'd turn himself into a pickle and uh, make Quark come in and see it. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm like really sorry. I can go now. No, we have to, you have to control the game. Just okay. Your mic. Okay. <laughs> oh, we've even got the onion. Sylvie, you can come back. Can okay, hey. Childhood onion memory. What? Would you like to hear a childhood onion memory? I would love to hear a childhood onion memory. I grew up in the woods, basically, mm -hmm. and there were wild onions all around. Um, and you could tell where they were because the grass that they grew out of was so obvious. And I would go around, I would literally go around picking handfuls of the grass, which smelled like scallion, basically. Yeah. And just huffing the onion grass. <laughs> what? All summer long, I would do this. Huffing the onion grass does not sound like what you would literally be doing when you tell me that that's what you're doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was what I was doing. That's like being at Thanksgiving and saying, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go take a walk, you know? <laughs> What else do you do on a walk? Well, you usually there's... Uh, I'm huffing the onion grass. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. What the... Oh, hey. Is did that a knife? this? I just totally didn't see I this. totally didn't see this either. I just turned around and saw this here. Yeah. A metal scale. There's a plate on each on the right. Gold key. Wow, and a knife. Finally some way that we can get into a tomato. Okay. This is the hard one. Let's do it first. Red coin. I have to reselect the knife every time. I like that it's freshly excavated onion, though. <laughs> I like that the coin is the color of the fruit. Yeah, that's fun. Onion's not a fruit. The rest are fruit. Cucumber's a fruit? I yeah, think a cucumber has... No, is that? Yeah, I think it is. Oh man, he didn't comment on how the coin was colored that time. A reddish coin I found in a tomato. No, it's a tomato-ish coin you found, not a reddish coin. P 
piece of metal. Oh, hey, I wonder where this goes. There's just a lot of, like, rummaging around, which I, 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 I always love in a game. Hey, looks like it's ratchet now. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I guess um, it depends what that bottom bit does. Yeah, I it's feel like to... I'm... Sorry, what was that? It's just hard to see exactly what that huge thing is meant for. It's the thing right now is I'm literally just like collecting stuff and then well, lizard the brain is kicking in. Yeah, so let's go do that. I'm okay. assuming. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to have it selected. I'm assuming that there's like that little terminal over there that I'm circling with the mouse. Sure. I'm sure that's gonna be the crux of getting out of here. Have we looked at that that side that was like? No, we didn't through. actually. I just saw it and was like, oh, interesting. <laughs> Bird's eye view of the garden. It's kind of like a map. What's that on the right? It looks like a box. So there's stuff buried under each thing, right? Sure. Treasure In chest. In what way is this kind of like a map? Um. <laughs> I, you've got me there. Yeah, I'm struggling to find one non-map piece of this. No compass rose. No compass rose? Is that eliminated from being a map? No, but it, it makes it a, like like two percent less mappy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a shovel over here. Cool. It was hiding from me. Oh, and another box. Or another key. Sorry, when I find a key, I just see the thing that it's gonna open for me. I just go, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, it's it's a pepper. It's not paprika. <laughs> I'm just. This is the thing, though. I just see. The, I see the end result. You know, I see the thing's potential. Did you see the mushroom, by the way? I did. I was. I tree. figured we'd do the grave first, since we talked yeah. about that, and then both. Like, I saw a bunch of shiny things and got distracted. How do I? I, I thought I was. Okay, it's this. Okay, cool. Uh... I guess I don't know which key it is, huh? No. Nope. Maybe it's none of the keys. Maybe the keys are for the boxes. That's. And then we get the thing to go into this one. After. Yeah, let's go try that then. Let's go start digging. So wait, which? We have the bronze and the gold. So we want to dig up the skunk lettuce. Is that what she called it? I thought she called it cabbage. Skunk cabbage. Sorry. Skunk lettuce is what I, I have before huffing on some onion grass. Highly recommend the onion grass. I got a very close friend who absolutely despises onions with every fiber of her being, and I wow, I don't love like? onions, but like it's like it's really intense. I support her, but like I'm just I I don't I agree. Don't. I don't support that. Sorry, dear <laughs> friend. That's fine. Onions are good, and also, come on, food can't hurt you, unless you're allergic. Yeah, I, I'm someone who food can actually hurt quite a bit. Yeah. But aside from that, yeah, food can't hurt you. Oh, he's going to replant it when we're done. That's, That's nice. I think, that one of the worst things that I think uh, a, a parents can do their, to their kids is, like, stress them out about food so much that they end up with, like, really bizarre food hang up yeah man that's not not yeah. every food hang up is about that but it's like i've got know, a the few amount, the amount that people are like i was forced to eat everything on my plate so now i like uh absolutely refuse to go near a food that i even a little bit don't like um it's sad it's a sad way to live Yeah, I will. Uh, Frank Scenario in the chat says raw onions are a no go for me, but I'll put them in dishes. That's kind of my thing, too. I can't do raw onions too strong for me. Yeah, onions are stuff. intense. You but know. when they're. I like, a, I like them as an ingredient. I will oh. eat onions raw. I should make curry tonight. You're a pervert. Um, um, but, I, when I worked <laughs> in an Indian restaurant, yeah. um, one thing that I noticed is that when Indian customers would come in, they would get. Um, as a side, a plate of raw red onion with like a little bit of uh, lemon and some like garam masala on top. Okay, with and seasoning, like, it's These different. These people are geniuses. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it's really like a sprinkling. Of okay, then I'm not. I'm. I'm I don't. I don't think I could do it, but I. Onion. I see the appeal. 
Yeah. For the for the raw onion haters, uh, uh, I would suggest trying some pickled onions. See how that does you. I don't like pickled yeah. stuff that much either. Really? I'm not huge into vinegary things. You could pickle it with uh, without vinegar. Okay. A true pickle is a salt brine and no vinegar. Damn, all right then. Where does the... I gotta... Yeah, this is the treasure chest and this is an island? There aren't any island in here though. There's some green growing on the top. Yeah, but there's grass everywhere in here. Maybe it's something else. Well, let's look for something with green on top. Mossy rock? Mossy, mossy rock. rock. I think I see it. Is that mossy rock? That's mossy rock, for sure. Yeah, that's got a camera angle and everything. Don't try to trick me. Don't try to trick me, mossy rock. <laughs> Alex says, a true pickle is what Sigma has found himself in here. That's so true! <laughs> Okay, and then I gotta find the silver key somewhere. Um, Pinko your... Sock says I don't like cucumber pickles, but pickled onions fuck hard. Yeah, I think that, I think that cucumber pickles. I love cucumber pickles, but they've like ruined the idea of pickles for a lot of people who justifiably are like, I'm not that into cucumber pickles. Yeah, I'm not that into. But then like things pickles. like pickled carrots, pickled mushrooms, pickled onions are so much better. Sorry, I clicked on a thing while you were. I didn't mean. I don't want to. There's no. Uh, Sigma's doing his thing. Why are you looking at me? There's just enough room for two on this bench. Oh, no reason. Okay, what? man. He's just thinking about that sitting was... down with her, but that felt weird. It felt weird. That felt Why weird, ask... Sigma. Well, yeah. <laughs> Why can't you be normal about sitting on a bench? Oh, it is a lion. Oh, he he can't be normal lion. about anything. It kind of looks like that little dude from Bleach. Oh yeah, the little demon dude. Yeah. Coin? What's that coin? Con? I don't know. Con? Oh Something God. like that. I don't know. Don't ask me anything about Bleach. You don't fucking watch Bleach. Yeah, come on. Get out of here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's not where the key is. Um. Oh, on pickled onions. I remember what I was going to say. I feel like I'd, I'd enjoy them on a uh, sandwich with stuff. I don't think I did. I could oh, just yeah, jump in right on the on, on my own. Oh, yeah. That's really the... I mean, sandwich is maybe the ideal setting. Maybe, like, on top of uh, um, like a salad. Also. Yeah. Pickled lemons. That sounds interesting. Pickled lemons are good. Pickled watermelon is good. Huh. Because yeah, I like a sweet and salty thing, and a pickled watermelon would probably be kind of sweet still, right? Yeah. Uh, don't people usually hide their house keys under a flower pot or in the mailbox? They do? Just trust me. I'm sure there'll be something under there. That is very funny. She's very suburban. That, yeah, because she's a trad wife. Oh, is she a trad wife? No, but like, she seems like we one. were joking about that okay. before. That makes sense. So, Ooh, is this like a, a hole guide? <laughs> no, like no, 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 expand on that. A map for holes, like from, from the movie Holes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shia LaBeouf playing Stanley Yelnats. I knew Stanley at least. Stanley Yelnats. That's, oh, of course, of course. Imagine having a palindrome for a name. I don't. I wouldn't like that. Um, no, I wouldn't. Stanley Yelnats and Hector Zaroni. <laughs> yeah, can I get a slice of pizza? Hold the Hector Zaroni. <laughs> get a half Hector Zaroni on that. Half Hector Zaroni, half cheese. Yeah. This doesn't remind me of anything I've seen so far. I wonder what it's about. Well, speaking of uh, of onions, yeah. What? Hesbar in the chat. So what saves today in holes? That's right, onions. Oh. You find all those onions, those preserved, uh, 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 or Zero's eating onions to stay alive, and then they find the preserved peaches. Can I be honest? I've never seen holes. 
Really? I read the, the book. The movie. It was like, when I was in third grade, I read the book. I... I don't think I read the book either. Um... Yeah. Dulé Hill? You got Dulé Hill? What? Best supporting... Best supporting actor. Oh. Hill. Yeah, it's just one of those things that would be on our equivalent of the... Disney Channel here, like sometimes yeah. when I'm flipping the channels and I'd see like a little bit of it, but for some reason I just, I don't know. Never really that interested. When I turned the handle, it got dark. Oh, good. Oh wait, was it, did you want that? I don't know. It looked like the light up there went down. Maybe that light was a sort of surrogate sun. <laughs> People are just yelling. I prefer the term adopted. The absolutely star-studded cast of that Holes movie. Eartha Kitt and Sigourney Weaver? Eartha Kitt, Sigourney Weaver, yeah. It's crazy. And then, wow. um, uh, uh, who played, um, what was the, what was the asshole, the cop guy, like, Sir, Mr. Something, Mr. Sir, what was his name? Without God, I, chat, you gotta help here, because I'm useless. Yeah. Let's see, I can get this. Oh, it's John Boyd. Oh, John, John Boyd. And oh, by the way, Tim Blake Nelson is in it. Oh, I love Tim Blake Nelson. Yeah, everybody loves Tim Blake Nelson. Yeah. Who's your favorite character Watch. actor, Keith? My favorite character. Or like, actor. give me like a top tier character actor, just to give you some some of your taste. Um, for a really long time, I was a big uh, Stephen Tobolowski guy. Yeah, yeah. Tobol Tobolowski's top tier for sure. Yeah. Um, I was like way into i mean when i grew up i was watching a bunch of like movies from the 80s and 90s because that's what that's what vhs did to people my age yeah is all those movies got turned into vhs tapes and then i was like oh there's that guy over and over again and did my favorite movie groundhog day uh he's great in groundhog day too really good in groundhog day uh and then he had a really good podcast early podcast where he would tell extremely long personal essays he would narrate personal essays about his like time in hollywood mm. and it was really good that is that it sounds was called great the files. i gotta try um, i might track that down yeah it sounds like something that would hold it. up i haven't listened to it in 15 years okay um, well but at the time i thought it was really good yeah hell yeah i'm a big john carroll lynch girl i mean whenever he shows up in some he was the husband and fargo is kind of like his famous nice role, and then uh, in Zodiac, oh, yeah. he's one of the the Zodiac killer suspects. And okay, I know this guy for sure. Yeah, whenever he shows up in something, I just start rubbing my hands together. I would not consider um, Tilda Swinton the character actor. She no, plays. She, she's, she's, she's a, a flux. She's she's a, f a flex role. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> real real six man of the year candidate. Uh huh. Um, the garden needs harder. Money. Oh, Stephen Root. Steve, Steven Root's a good one. Um, Steven Root. You'll find that mine are all going to be comedy. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> Judy Greer. Also, you Flex, not exactly. Can't forget actor. Judy Greer, though. Uh, Luis Guzman. Yeah. Um, I like Chris Bauer in a lot of his TV work. Um, mostly, I think, most recent thing that I can think of that was like really popular, he was in True Blood for a bit, but he's also in like season two of The Wire and mm -hmm. um, a bunch of other stuff. Jeffrey Combs. Because I, man, we do have to do a character actor <laughs> tier list stream or something. Steve Buscemi, uh, also a Steve little. Buscemi, I was just about to say Steve Buscemi. Like, yeah. I think he counts. I think he does count. Um, well, he can't. Uh, you know, but what happens is he's been some elevated since they become so good that they get a show on HBO. Yeah. I mean, look at um, what's his name? Uh, Paul Giamatti. He was a Paul char Giamatti. character actor oh, yeah. and now he's an Academy Award nominee, man. Like, I mean, not well, to say that you can't be an Academy Award nominee as a character actor, but like he's a leading guy in a lot of stuff, in a lot of projects. He had a huge run of movies in the late 90s, early 2000s. Paul Giamatti. Sideways. Yeah. That's um, the one I think of a lot. Uh, Big Fat Liar. Um, what is the one where he plays the comic book guy? Now, wait, the comic book guy. I don't, I might be getting, I don't, I might, I don't know if I remember that one. Uh, American Splendor, 2003. Okay, I haven't seen that, no. Biographical comedy drama written and directed by Sherry Springer. 
Cherry Springer Bergman and Robert. Um, I didn't know that he. I thought he was just a reality TV guy. I didn't know that he directed anything. Sher Sherry Ooh. Springer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. I get we, it, it was tortured, but we we got there eventually. Um, who said it? Me or the CIA? Uh, if we want it to be afternoon again, all we have to do is turn the handle, right? Sorry, I'm really intrusive thoughts heavy today. Um, is yeah. turning it into the nighttime gonna do something? I think it's gonna reveal. Oh, Nathan Lane's a good shout too. Sorry, what was that? Oh, uh, it's gonna reveal that we're we're on the moon. Again, Nathan Lane, another one of those flex roles, lots yeah. of starring roles, lots of Broadway, obviously. Um, but yeah, like Mouse Trap. It's funny that I think of not Mouse Trap, Mouse Hunt and the Mouse Hunt Games. rules. Those are my two. Yo, we <laughs> should. <laughs> it's not related to Hunter Hunter, but let's do a media clip plus bonus on Mouse Hunt. I, Mouse Hunt is one of those things that follows me everywhere because I'm constantly singing the praises of Mouse Hunt, a movie that yeah. came out in the it mid follows late 90s you everywhere and everyone you're bringing it. hated. Everyone uh, hated it. This was one of my VHS movies. This was one we had on VHS that I watched a lot. This movie is, it is so underrated. It should be in the Comedy Hall of Fame. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It really should I be. Don't, I believe you. Uh, speaking of character actors, M. Emmett Walsh, who just uh, recently passed. Could you give me like a couple roles? I'm blanking on uh, putting uh, a name to a face. I always think of him as uh, playing a really important X-Files character. He plays one of the two um, brothers, like, the um, in the X-Files. Uh, Which, I've seen most of that show, so, like... I'll, I'll get you exactly what okay. he's from. He plays... Uh, I started watching that again recently, he's actually. In, he's in The Unnatural, the, the, the one that... Um, <gasps> oh! Oh, yeah, that Duchovny directed the baseball one. That one's he plays so the funny. Brother. It is so funny. Yeah, uh, I wish I can't remember, can't pull his name. Um, it's very funny though that oh. that David Duchovny gets a chance to direct an X Files episode, and he's like baseball. That's the, that, baseball. that's a huge Duchovny <laughs> move, though. Yeah. yeah, I started watching just like I've been watching like random episodes in October because it's seasonal. Um, yeah. You know what episode really rules from the first season of that show? Um, of, the, of the X-Files? Yeah. And segues in great. Every episode from this first season besides one rules. It's Beyond the so. Sea that rule. There's the one I'm talking oh, of with Brad Dourif. Beyond Dorif. the Sea with Brad Dourif. It's, yeah. And, speaking uh, of people who the, are incredible. The, uh, uh, the kid's father from Twin Peaks. Yeah. Uh, Bobby's dad, dad from Twin Peaks. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite episodes of all time. The the that, Dorif that performance is, is incredible. So Dorif is unhinged in that. Yeah. He's so good. Oh, M. Emmett Walsh is the guy that shoots Steve Martin in the jerk. He's the guy that hits <laughs> the cans in the jerk. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. You seen, you've seen the jerk, right? Maybe. Oh my god, you've got to watch the jerk. I'll speaking of speaking of comedy yeah. hall of fame. The jerk. It's a famous clip that I'm that mo many people who haven't seen the jerk have seen. Though like, that this guy hates these cans. He's trying to shoot Steve Martin, but he's missing oh. in the cans. And, and I, I do know Martin's that. Like, clip. oh my god, he's trying to kill the cans. <laughs> That's M. Emmett Walsh. He like opens a phone book and he's like, I'm gonna kill someone today, and he picks. It's so good. It's just a whole the whole sequence. Steve Martin gets, you know, he gets a he gets an identity basically. He like registers with the government, and he gets his first phone book with his name in it. And he shows up. He's like, "Look at me, I'm somebody now." And then he gets his name randomly picked by a murderer to be That's killed. That's great. It's so good. Hey, maybe the I'll watch that after the stream. Unbelievable. I, I, literally every time you've recommended like a, a comedy thing to me, it's hit. Like you know your shit, so I trust you. Um. Your recommendation to check out the Taskmaster in New Zealand did not fail me at all. Oh, uh, you you checked that out? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I've, I've watched. I'm a big fan of Taskmaster New Zealand. Three of the seasons. I don't think they've put any more up yet. Um. Um. The fourth season is the best season. Really? Because yeah. I'm a big. I really liked season two. Is also two and three. Um, yeah. Actually, I haven't seen season one yet because I couldn't find it. Season one, it, it's on the official YouTube now, I think. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Season one's good. I really like Angela on that. She is, I think she, she will hit for you too. Um, I like, okay. We should like figure out this puzzle instead of just talking about stuff we like. 
<laughs> the yappers are here. Um, if we want it to be afternoon again, all we have to do is turn the, the handle. Hey, look at that. Are these stars? Maybe the idea was that when night falls, the stars come out. The stars showed up once night fell. I wonder if there's some significance to that. Okay, so we didn't really get any clues. We just you've seen you've now seen I think what rates among the highest Taskmaster scenes in general. Because I, I I also like the UK one. I think. Yeah, I think it's better in general. But I've seen all so of the UK much one. of it. Uh, 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 the um, David Correos doing the. Um, uh, the diss track where it's he's like so absolutely funny. going fucking insane i think about gonna drown you in your own blood like uh -huh. every other day yeah it's like it's the funniest thing and then he brings them fruit plates to apologize <laughs> for how insane he went he is an all-time contestant like he's so funny across there's everything. a guy in season four that is like david Crea's mirror like he's like the autistic mirror of david Crea. oh wonderful it's like totally opposite energy, but the same kind of guy still. Okay, I gotta watch season four. Yeah, season four is really good. Um, also, uh, who's the guy that does the the spelling bee show? This is my last thing on New Zealand. Um, I'm forgetting his name. He was, all, guy he was also in season two. Guy Montgomery. Uh, his Fox Christmas song is also an all time. It was pretty good. I also like his spelling bee show. Yeah, I saw a little bit of that. It's fun. It's good. <laughs> it's pretty all right. Um, the star is definitely red. The light is right underneath it. This is a big star. So far, I've found one star. What? That star looks pretty green. That's a pretty small, small, small Doesn't star. Doesn't count as a star too small. Oh, okay. So I gotta I just click on all of these. The green star. Yeah, I guess you gotta click on them more. That isn't shape and color all exactly what I'd expect from a star. Size, really? I guess you could say this is a typical Alex, star. This is way smaller than a star is. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Get a load of this lady. This broad doesn't even know what a star is like. Oh, there's one back here, hiding from me. Ooh. This one's blue. Good eye. I feel like I could just reach out and grab it. How romantic. Mm. More space stuff, by the way. Well, I am a woman. It looks a little large for me to carry, though. Carry? Yeah, I don't know. This is light, right? This is light being projected, or? It has to be. Did the one I, not I clicked on first not count? This one? Star is purple. It's so small and cute. So far, I've found five stars. This feels like Putt Putt to me. Yes, it really does. Um, putt Putt had more customization, though. Yeah. I could color Putt Putt. I can't give Sigma a new paint job. Wow, you found five stars! <laughs> <laughs> I got. Where? Am I missing one here? I got that one. Is it time to turn on the lights again? Hard to know. You didn't do anything to the stars. No, I just, I wonder if knowing the location is the thing. I bet there's a star that we didn't see. I probably. What, what's up with these buttons? I, I haven't. I will, we haven't clicked on that yet. Attention. No, we've just been. A, <laughs> There's so many, the puzzle rooms are kind of just where we hang out. And then yeah. when we get into the story stuff, we actually pay attention. Well, sometimes the puzzles are like good and engaging. Yeah, this one's kind of just pixel hunty, huh? Yeah. Do you think they're broken? Maybe you just need to press them in a specific order. Remember when I was like excited about this room because I remembered that there were cutscenes that take place here? Yeah, and then we learned that there weren't. It's after. Well, yeah, it's after. Is the tile of the lion? Yeah, does the lion not do any? Okay. Although there is more of what you were saying, which is like react. Oh, have we opened the drawer on the? Scales? We did. Yeah, that was where I got the part, oh, okay. the second part of the ratchet handle. Right, right, right. Um, there is more of what the first puzzle room was missing. This is only the second one, right? I think so. Uh, third, uh, if you count the elevator. Right. Um, 
interaction with the other people because in the in the um crew quarters we were all in different rooms we were all in different rooms and in this one everyone's sort of commenting on what you're doing yeah i do i i do like that a bit more i like like there's been a couple cute moments i like luna being like hey make sure you re plant the thing and then him not doing it afterwards even though he said he would <laughs> is there a, is there a star on the other side of the grass mound near the purple one if we go into the grass mound oh you're right let me i'm trying to click on the grass mound it's not letting me go to the grass mound i guess you i guess not i guess there isn't did i click on this again did we get the green one i thought i got the green one did I not get the green one? A very small green star? Five. Yeah, we got the green one. Wait, is Four. this... Are you supposed to put the, the coins in their respective colors? You know what, Keith? You might be onto something. Although we don't have a purple coin, do we? No. But I am gonna... Where's that yellow star? Nope. Okay. Hey, that's fine. Fine by me. Maybe uh, the buttons do something when the lights are off. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go poke. It's really dark. I can barely see. Wow, they even made a waterfall. It doesn't look like something's built into the rock wall behind the waterfall. Yeah, the walkway goes under it, doesn't it? I wonder what's back there. Same. Uh, go. No, just go. I love like. We're literally here fighting for our lives. We're on an actual time limit, but I will not open fruit with my hands and I will not get wet. Yeah. Okay, I can't just go to it. It's Sigma's house. Is that true, Sigma? Is this shed your house? You must be going through a rough time. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Is that Luna that said that? Yeah, Luna said the second bit, and then Alice said it's your house, yeah. This piece of paper has seven dots on it and an arrow running down the left edge. This is to be the location of the stars, right? Maybe we're supposed to read this in the direction of the arrow. It looks like the dots are in the middle, on the left, or on the right. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh! I know what it is. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, it's I'm guitar trying to... hero for buttons. Yeah, I'm playing through the fire and the flames right now. I wish I still had, like, a rock band controller or something, because I would be yeah, doing so many too. dumb, gimmicky, like, <laughs> controlling stuff with a rock band controller things. Or just playing rock band. Also that... Um, I think I have I one somewhere, but you know. Now I have to play the normal guitar like an idiot. I know. Oh, coins. Oh. Is this like the order they cut? They're in the, in the stream, maybe? Maybe? Or is it the... Because I don't know what other way we'd have to sort. Or is it them. just an objective truth on which color is better than the next? Which in that Oh, it could be a means. size thing. Wait. Oh, a size. Thing. If that, if they are, there are greater than symbols instead of arrows. Because they did make a never point. shot out about the size of yeah. every single star. It was so, red was the biggest, red, then yellow, then um. I think purple, blue was bigger or, uh, than yellow. But wait, no, we don't have there. Okay, wait, we don't have a blue coin. We need right. Yellow, red, green. Green is the smallest. Green or silver is the smallest. Red is the biggest. Okay. So I guess that's what we need to know is. Where am I? The camera angles are rough <laughs> with the arrows. A little bit. They made 3D characters, but then wouldn't let you move in the 3D space. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be, I'd be asking a little much. Okay, so red was the largest. Yeah. And then... Yellow. Yellow. And then... 
I'm just like gonna flip flop these two. Yeah, those will we can just guess. There are less than signs between between all of the indentations. I bet that has something to do with which coins go where. Yeah, no, we we did suss that out. <coughs> Wait! Oh, there's that scale. Wait. We can use that to compare no weights. No way. These coins all fucking weigh the same. Wait, wait, wait. We should we should try it. We should have swapped first oh. before we go try weight. I mean, maybe. Hey, maybe it's what they said. Wait. No, I'm. Well, here's the thing, right? Each there's the, the scale two didn't codes. Do anything yet. Well, there's two codes for each thing. Each room, remember? Oh, right. So I yeah. bet I bet the size one is also true. Yeah. So we could keep trying that. Yeah. I think you had green as the smallest before, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh. Didn't do anything. No. The thing is, there's also just some where we don't have colors that course like there isn't a white star as far as i remember yeah i guess maybe maybe the star size has to do, or maybe it had nothing to do with anything <laughs> it was a red herring you know i guess i'll see i yeah. i'd be very disappointed if it was but i also i guess what i wouldn't be stunned if it was either this is also like what was this supposed to be why is this here anyway Use this to see how heavy things are. I should wager the coins with this, huh? Yeah, I know how this. Okay. Check. Yeah. Okay, so green was heavier than heavier yellow. Heavier than yellow. I'll write this down. Okay. okay. All right. So green right now is in is in front. Green. So green's the heaviest. Green is the heaviest. White is heavier than red. White is heavier than red. And yellow is so. Yellow. What? So green, white. Why did it say failed? <laughs> what? They just flew everywhere. What? Do you think it's broken? Let's see. There was. Oh, I get it. If you use the scale more than five times, it triggers the spring, which makes the whole thing shake. Well, we got the order. Did we use it more than five times? I didn't. I didn't think so, but I guess I did. They didn't tell me that. No, they did. This was just to annoy you. Do I have to pick them all up? Okay. Oh. Well, that's fine. We got. We had the order. We did. It green. Yep. You got green, what you... yellow, white, red. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> I hit back. They went everywhere again. We didn't even put them. They weren't even in. They weren't even in. What is this game? They'll get... What? And now they're like, are you stupid? I'm so mad. Hey, I think maybe you're stupid. I'm not stupid. Oh, if you do it less than five too? Okay, whatever. Um, so you have to do it exactly five times? Oh, are we trying to balance the scale? I don't know. What was the order? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, green, yellow, white, red. What's the fucking switch button? I, I thought there was a quick switch. Green, yellow, white, red? Yeah. Oh, who's the asshole now? Stupid fucking table. Ooh, now we get to watch Friends on Netflix. It's oh, it's just stars. stars. So I guess we can watch House of Lies. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh. what, you don't like Ben Schwartz and Kristen Bell? I'm gonna hit you. God damn it, that's a good joke. You. you don't like Don Cheadle? 
I love Don Cheadle. How dare you? Uh, someone says a lot of the coins can't be used anymore, and uh oh, I hope not. <laughs> God, I cannot believe I knew the name of One Star's show. <laughs> I'm genuinely impressed. Okay. Uh. Oh, I knew the name of the second star show. Um, but I'm but I'm blanking on it. Can I take? Oh. I just watched the third season. They just made a third season. I'm sorry if I missed a gold file, right everybody. Party Down Season 3 came out last year. Oh, okay. After a 12-year hiatus. Whoa. Uh, by the way, I highly recommend Party Down. Really funny. It's Adam Scott. Peak Adam Scott. Okay. Red, green. I'm assuming it's starting here. And if it's backwards, it's backwards. Um, red, green, yellow. Red, green, yellow, blue. Purple. Red, green, yellow, blue, purple. Mm, yeah. Red, green, yellow, blue, purple. Fuck. <laughs> Great. So wait. Uh, red, what was it? Red, green, yellow, blue, purple. So it'd be purple, blue, green. No. Fuck. No, I keep hitting green early. Red, green. Thank you for put it, who put it in the chat. Uh, You're trying to get it backwards, right? Was that? Yeah, okay. That was the code I entered before, yeah. So purple, purple, blue, yellow, green, red. Okay. And then I bet the other solution is to enter that the in order of size to get the other one. Safe password. Cool. Um, which if it's by size, it would be. No, I don't. I don't remember their sizes. I gotta look at these again. I appreciate the vote of confidence, saying I'm sure you remember, but I, I, I assure you, I do not. I might remember the sizes. Yeah. Red, yellow. Blue, green, purple? I think blue and yellow are switched, but otherwise you're I'm pretty sure you're right. I think maybe blue is bigger than yellow, yeah. Yeah. So red, blue, yellow, purple, green? Yeah. I can't tell. It's hard because they're on opposite ends. It's hard to tell which yeah. is smaller, purple or green. Alice specifically mentions how tiny and huge the purple one is. Yeah. I don't remember what she says for the green one. So red, blue, yellow, purple, green. Sure. And then if it's not, then it's swap green, purple. Yeah. No puzzle can stop me. Whoa, it turned blue. Whoa, what's going on? What's going on? The screen's changed. Well, what's going on? And then Crazy Frog starts. Um, boop, 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 boop. Do you remember that? How that song starts with a guy going, what's going on? Yeah. I, yeah. Were you in a Crazy Frog? Was I into Crazy Frog? Yeah. No, I, I was into the original Axel F. I was into Crazy Frog. I, would, I don't know if it's true or not, but I always thought that the Crazy Frog song sounded a lot like Axel F. It is literally Axel really, F, dude. It is Axel F? Yeah, okay. it's a cover. Yeah. I couldn't tell if it was the same song or not. Song. Song, that song rules. Having a guy over it going, that didn't do it for me. 
weirdly. But he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I I think a big part of it was um living in Europe when that little freak hit. Uh, and That's they loved crazy. him there. Every that commercial I saw anytime. was like, get here's a new CG ringtone you can get with a fake crazy here's, frog. Here's where, here's maybe this is uh, this is something. Maybe this is something culturally. Yeah. It's like when a European is like, bah, you know, America has no history, which is obviously racist. Yes. Um, uh, but what they mean is that it has no European history. Yeah, uh, oh, very much so. Uh, you know when they talk about that when they were like oh your buildings are 200 years old blah you're a baby country whatever uh i can just say you guys liked crazy frog yeah yeah yeah. you guys went you guys really liked crazy you guys frog. liked the the gummy bear song the gummy bear song. oh dude the gummy bear song was bad i don't even know what that is i I don't know if it would get like a DMCA, so I'm not gonna like play it, but it's bad. I'll, I'll go, I'll search it. Oh, We've, there's a bunch of stuff in this, uh, in this, uh, hey, yeah, look safe at that. here. First off, more map. This looks like a map. More map. On the upper map. left, it says floor B. Okay. Oh, the AB game, it's named after the floors. Um, I mean, I know we took the elevator down to get here. So B is basement. Okay, is it this like green little freak? Is yeah, and it's I'm like super at? squeaky voice. Okay, I'm, I believe. Should it be in English or should it be not in English? I think it's in English. Okay, this one says long English version. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, here's something crazy. You want to hear something crazy? Uh, always. Um, for some reason the run button, um, like YouTube Premium subscription lapsed. Um. And I didn't know that you get ads on your own YouTube videos. Hmm. Like if I go to the run button channel and I click on a video to like, like make sure of something, I have to watch an ad to see it, which is crazy. That, that seems a little fucked up. Yeah. Apparently it's new as of a couple years ago. Hmm. I don't agree with that. Sorry, I thought that this was going to be a longer story. Heard. Yeah, it's terrible, right? But also, 06, people ate that shit up. Do you want to know how many views this has? Uh, Do you want to guess? guess? Yeah. I'm guessing... Ooh. 90 to 100 million. Okay. Am I overshooting? So there is no... <laughs> Okay. Uh, there's multiple videos. This is just the most viewed video, I think. 3.5 billion Whoa. views. People Whoa. are bad in their heads. It's those Why Europeans, do you want bro. this? It's those Europeans. Jesus Christ. That's this is the worst up. music I've ever heard. That is a sizable chunk of the Earth's population if that's one view per person, which it obviously isn't, but it would, it's, it's really funny to think about. Is it? I feel like we're at, aren't we at like nine billion now or something? I think we're at like eight. Okay. But I don't know, it could, could have changed. I don't know, people people be fucking. Um, the key card, it has a moon on it. That means, <laughs> yeah, this is the moon card the announcement was talking about. Oh great, we gotta vote a fucking ally again and get murdered. Yeah, you're a solo. We're at 11 billion now? Is that true? What? That's crazy. 8.2. Okay. Yeah. 11, I'm like, that seems like a bit much. We're doing a bit too much there. <laughs> Let's... Yeah. A piece of paper. What? What? Nevada test site. Nevada test site. We know, we know about Nevada. We do. We also know about Rhizome 9. Right, we do. What was Rhizome 9? Rhizome 9 was the... the. No, it's not Radi Radical 6 is what I'm thinking of. Wait. What was the Rhizome again? R remind me of the Rhizome, please. Um, I think that's where we are. Is that where we are? Okay. Oh. 
Yeah, I don't Some know. kind of diagram? It doesn't make any sense. I wonder what it is. Oh, well, just forget about it for now. We can always come back to it later. There's two more things in here. What's this? Immunoglo- Immunogoblin. It says IG equals immunoglobulin. That is not a good name for your, your, your app. Um, what's immunoglobulin? I don't want to say this. It's another word for antibody. You mean like the stuff in your body that fights off bacteria and viruses and stuff? Yes. So what Steve is that I think to Rhizome us? 9 was in the opening video. It was. Okay. okay. That makes sense. Because you were like, what's Rhizome 9? And I'm like, I was like, oh, maybe I don't know what this is. I remember the name. Like, I, it's, yeah, it's I got a name, name that's got a big hook, but I, I couldn't remember yeah. if it came up when we were talking about Radical 6. Yeah, because I do remember talking about Rhizomes on the stream, and I was like, what was that about? Yeah, we love Rhizomes here at Friends of the Table, though. Yeah. Honestly, I have no idea. The only thing left is this key, and that must be the key to the exit. I think you're right. We should be able to use it to open the door. Awesome. What are we waiting for? Yeah, let's get, a, let's get out of here. I want more voice acting. Yeah, I hope the bunny shows back up. I love that. Oh, yeah, no, our favorite. <laughs> Although, I heard that the bunny was leaving, so... And I trust. Yeah, you trust I it? Trust you trust it. Zero the Third? Maybe Zero, maybe it's Hector Zeroni. Oh my god. Yeah. I believe that Hector Zeroni was Zero the Third. Holy fuck. It all comes back to holes. <laughs> you can quote me on that. Uh, no sooner had we stepped out of the garden than I saw the three people I'd watched leave through the green door sometime earlier. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. What are you guys are doing here? What are you guys here? doing here in the game that we're all in together? We ought to be asking you the same thing. How'd you get here? Sigma, hand me the map. Map? Oh, right. <laughs> I dug the map out of my pocket and spread it out in front of us. You three came in through the blue door, right? Yes. And which room did you go into? This fan-shaped one, it's called the Bee Garden. And I ate it. Bee Garden? There you go, everybody. I, I, I did the thing. <laughs> it's this big dome with a bunch of plants in it. Look, you can go see it yourself later, all right? What about you guys? I forgot her voice sounded like that. I didn't. What about you guys? Well, after we went through the green door, we ended up in the treatment center. The treatment center? Hmm. And then we met up. Right here. Oh, okay. So, what's the treatment center? I love this as, as a holdover from the last game of like, when we meet back up, we have to explain how we got to be all together again. Part of me does wonder if it's just like, um, uh, to be like, yeah, here are the other rooms that you'll be eventually either, or either ones you have yeah. done the puzzle or like will be doing True. the puzzle for. So you can be like, oh, I will they were in there doing this puzzle, doing this yeah. thing. This isn't like really a criticism, but no. it, it's one thing to be like, yeah, yeah, we went through the treatment center to be like, what? How did we all get here? What's going on? You guys are here? It. I like it. I, I think it's fine <laughs> to be critical of it, but I do kind of like it. It's not a real complaint. It's just a goofy idiosyncrasy. Yeah, for sure. Let's find out what the treatment center is. It sounds a lot like the infirmary. You want to have a look? We can go back to any of the rooms we've already visited. Yeah, we have scampering privileges now. So? Um, sure, let's have a look. What's up? By the way, I learned I learned uh, two things from uh, from Grant, from uh, Chip and Ironicus, mm -hmm. who was watching these and said that uh, Zier the Third, who we know voiced uh, the Chimera Ant Queen. Yeah also voiced the purge announcer from the purge oh my god and <laughs> amy rose from sonic the hedgehog wow okay yeah one of the other one of the other women also voiced a different permutation of amy rose that's really funny 
Yeah. It's Amy Rose all the way down. So there are clones. It's just clones of Amy Rose. Yep. After a few moments of brisk walking, we found ourselves in the treatment center. <laughs> in case you didn't know. Oh, lion painting. What are those? <laughs> what are those? They're why this is called a treatment center. Those pods can cure a number of illnesses and even repair certain injuries. Space shit. That's space. That's back tank. <laughs> Go I saw Goku in one of those. Yeah. Whoa, that's nuts. How about you climb in one of them, Dio? Why? Well, maybe it can fix whatever's wrong with your brain. Damn. Whoa. <laughs> she's not wrong. You she betrayed us, but she's not wrong. Yeah, I know. <laughs> when you gotta hand it to her, you gotta hand it to her. You wanna start something, lady? Calm down now, son. Oh my god, he's his father. Oh my god, he's his father. You don't cool off a bit, and I'll have to throw you in one of these pods here. Whoa. Whoa. Everyone's gonna get potted. Huh? Why? Weren't you paying attention? They have a cold sleep function. I figured that ought to cool your head up. Wait, did you say cold sleep? That's where you, they freeze you, right? And you can stay that way for a really long time? Yeah. According to some records we found in here, until about eight hours ago, there were three frozen people in these pods. Hmm. Three people? Who? You mean three of us were? We don't know. All we found was what was in the logs for the pods. And how long were they? No idea. Oh, how long were they there? <laughs> Part of the logs were erased. And how, how long were they? How long were the logs? Like, how much paper printed? All this how long were the, the cold sleep function. <laughs> yeah, can off. I get some heights? It records them thawing out, getting up. That's it. Then they could be anyone. Damn. Damn. Well, Do you think the three people you. here are from the pods? They pod people? Are there six pods? I mean, we're the two of us are from the pods. Just... Yeah, we're from the pods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know how many of them are from the pods. I mean, I feel like Tamiyoji at least owns like a Yeti microphone. Yeah. Good point, Sir Nude. Uh, uh, Alice already has experience being frozen. Yeah, that's well, true, but that, sleep. but that maybe that's why she wouldn't be the sleeper, you know? Yeah. What? Why not Alice? Because you don't need a device like this to freeze Alice. What? Am what? I wrong? Huh? huh? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You don't need to play dumb. The water in your body isn't normal water. It's something called ice nut. What? <laughs> wow, we got confirmation. Okay, hell yeah. But also, what a line. It freezes at 96.8 degrees. That means all you have to do to put yourself in cold sleep is drop your body temperature below 96.8. <laughs> wow. Yeah, is that how that works? No fancy machine needed. Just go into a cold room. Where on earth did you hear that? From Clover. Hmm. Clover? When we were exploring the lounge during the first round, I see. <laughs> mm. Oh, she's having a Joker moment. Oh my god. What's so funny? She's getting Joker fight in real time. Oh my goodness. Oh man. You fell for that one hook, line, and sinker, didn't you? Oh. Mm. Clover was messing with you. That is, if she even said anything to you at all. Wait, it was then a why would he... A joke? Why would he know that? Okay. Wait, huh? Okay, oh, yeah. That's not just something that Clover tells people to mess with them. If even she even did that and you didn't just make it all up on your own. <laughs> <laughs> She's not very convincing. Yeah, that's a, that is not convincing at all. I, she joke. better be lying because otherwise that makes no sense. Yeah. No, there's no way it was a joke. I'm sure about it. Your body is made of ice nine. Well, you're mistaken. It's a ridiculous misunderstanding. 
an urban legend. With seemingly no other prompting, Alice launched into a lengthy explanation. Ooh, finally a lengthy explanation. It went something like this. It's, oh, I have to read it. At some point in the past, someone found a frozen, mummified Egyptian queen. What was curious about this mummy, however, was that it remained frozen at room temperature. People began to refer to her as All Ice, which eventually became simply Alice. Rumors that her body was made of Ice-9 began to circulate, and her bizarre refusal to thaw only compounded them. They I say won't that the thaw. mummy finally thawed, and when it did, it began to move. And ever since then, I've had people say they thought I was her. <laughs> Why? People are always saying I'm like an ancient, uh, ageless uh, Egyptian queen. And it's only because I dress exactly like one would. Yeah. I don't know where they're getting it from. I mean, really? How could anyone <laughs> believe something so ridiculous? Just because I was, just because I came Alice from a sarcophagus that doesn't melt or just and I'm dressed like legends. an Egyptian queen. She's just serving. Like, it's fine. <laughs> but why would that... Why would people make the mistake about you in particular? Thank Good you, Sigma. Good question, Sigma. It can't just be because your name's Alice. There are tons of Alices. Is it because of your face and That's cr how you look? That's a crazy line. Well, <laughs> is it because of your face and how you look? It is true that I am both beautiful and elegant. Can I really be blamed if people think I'm an Egyptian queen? I kind of love her for that. <laughs> I don't think that's the only reason. <laughs> this is so fucking... Uh... Tim Robinson in a hot dog coated. Yeah, it really is. Damn, put Tim Robinson in this fit. Someone who yeah. made mistakes. Put Tim Robinson in one of these games. Oh my god. <laughs> he would be great be a in great a Uchikoshi game. Honestly, he'd be great in the Somnium files. Yeah. We're a long way off, but you know. They claimed they'd seen me before. Of course, I immediately pressed the issue. Do you mean the mummy, Alice? I said. When? <laughs> and then they go, no, I wasn't saying it with a U. Where? Of course, they were at a loss. In fact, I began to feel a little sorry for them. So I told them something. If you're so convinced, then maybe I am actually Alice. But maybe I've lost my memory and can't remember who I am. And so on and so on. Tim Robinson as Sigma would actually be pretty good. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I'm still not sure why Clover would tell you something like that, though. Even if she was just messing with you, it seems a little out of left field. You really think she put that much thought into it? She was probably just screwing with him, and it was the first thing that came to mind. I don't like when he's cat-faced. Maybe she wanted to see if she could get him to believe something completely ridiculous. And that's usually something that makes a character grow on me, but with Dio, it's just not pleasant. <laughs> yeah. It's just because I'm not convinced that he's a circus ringleader. I know that he claims to have a reason to be dressed like this, but I think he just dresses like this. Yeah, I think so too. I think that he's just a member of Panic at the Disco circa 2005. He's just really into like, um, he's the one of those guys who's a little too into burlesque. The repercussions of Sgt. Pepper's Only Hearts Club Band no no bounds yeah it wasn't worth it someone should have shot john lennon sooner <laughs> <laughs> i could see you're doing something like that <laughs> i like that i said someone should shoot john lennon sooner and then she said i could see her doing something like that i could also see clover doing something like yeah, that Yeah, clover would definitely kill john lennon yeah absolutely well, I think that's enough idle gossip for now. The cold sleep business is interesting, but I don't think it's terribly useful. I mean, we could prove it right now. Let's put her in a cold room, see what happens. <laughs> that is such like, I love what, that's like very the thing logic. And yeah. I, I appreciate it. I, you know, it's a thing that's missing from a lot of, uh, of, media of like you've made an assertion i've made a defense you know it's something that's testable it's not just forcing someone to test but but at least bringing up like we could test this right now that is true yeah to at least just mention it you know float the idea yeah 
And when everyone gets mad at Sigma, I can be like, hey, I'm just, just, I'm just, I'm just spitballing. Yeah, just having an idea spitballing. No bad ideas. <laughs> and then Timmy just, no one ever said that. Oh, that's like, you have a good Timmy OG. Um, he's a fun voice to do. Very much so. Um, at Alice's request, we made our way out of the treatment center. You good? Yeah, I was, uh, moving something. I almost dropped my coffee carafe thing. You don't want to drop a carafe. Its neck is going to get all tangled. Yeah. I have to return to the zoo later this week. <gasps> oh, you got the warranty? Yeah. <gasps> Mem Memento Mori of the ninth... the ninth lion ate our... Ate the sun. Ate the sun. I thought it was ate the gun at first. <laughs> it looks like another warehouse. It looks like the same warehouse. Hey, look. Three more doors. They're all glowing white. You think... Uh, great point. J.F. Pollock says they don't have to put her in a cold room. They just have to put a drop of her blood in some water. Damn. They really yeah. could do the thing test they just really with could do the thing cold test. instead of heat. By the way, another great uh, episode, I think, from season one of the X-Files is the thing episode where they the, just do the thing. They just do the thing. That is a fun one. The, like, Arctic research station. Yeah, with the uh, parasites. Banger show. Great I show. I bet on it. Look. No, it says lock. They've got the lock. same boxes next to them as the other doors. I can't read. <laughs> that so would be something Sigma would, are... like, reveal. They haven't all been the same color before. Uh, we definitely need to tell the others about this. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's head back to Flore. Uh, Mutton Bandit says, I, I stopped at the Mulderless season of X-Files. Uh, I'm a John Doggett defender. I'm the old, maybe the only one in existence. I am neutral, but that's also because I, I feel like that's always where I lose steam on my watch throughs. And it's not even because Mulder is gone. Like I'm, I'm a yeah. scully girl Here, through and through. It's just. Here's what I like. First of all, I love Robert Patrick. Great actor. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the Terminator movie he's in that I haven't seen. I haven't seen Terminator. Uh, but um, that's okay. I haven't either. So the the there's the thing with the X Files that is crucial to it is that like oh thank goodness I'll wait till they're done with boys. Oh, no, we can we can talk about it before we get into this. Okay, it's quick. It's quick. Yeah. The whole thing about the X Files is that Scully is like in a fixed position of being incorrect because she represents an inability to be flexible in science and culture. Uh, and Mulder is like culturally and scientifically dynamic. That's like the whole point of the show. It's almost to the point of misogyny, uh, but it just happens to be- Sometimes it is. Moment. So oh, it also is misogynist in other ways, but just the very structure of the show where Mulder is always right and Scully's always wrong and she always has to be wrong because she is- like representative it's like the 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 sort of like there's a socratic structure to the thing where Mulder's always like how do you know that what you're that what you know is right every episode follows this whole thing of like Mulder's like i'm not saying what's right or wrong i'm just saying you can't say it's wrong just because you know it's wrong and then he ends up being right every time that's why the the memes of like scully being the long-suffering like long-suffering to Mulder's idiocy he's like everything is a monster it's kind of funny to me because the show insists that he's right 100% of the time. And this is proven in the two or three episodes where this position gets flipped by her believing in Christianity and Mulder being like, for some reason, 
I don't believe that's the one thing I don't believe in is God. But then in the X Files universe, God actually is real, and Scully becomes the Mulder, and Mulder becomes the Scully, and then that gets sort of permanently flipped when Mulder leaves. Scully feels like through loyalty to Mulder, she has to undertake his position of being, uh, you know intellectually flexible in the same way and then robert patrick comes in to be the scully so scully becomes Mulder, and robert patrick becomes scully and i think that's really interesting that does sound really fun even though the the episode quality does dip it's not so bad and uh it's fine to miss Mulder because he's so good and to think that those episodes are worse. But I think that the interesting thing of like Scully being forced to be the Mulder of the show is more interesting than those episodes are bad. They kind of get into that leading up to those seasons too, because there's definitely less Duchovny in some episodes. They do a lot more like Scully by herself or Mulder by himself like now and then. Um, mm-hmm. And so like it kind of feels like they're priming the audience to be ready for it in a weird way. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's why I like the Beyond the Sea episode so much, because it's like one of the earliest episodes where Scully is the believer in something. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and that's always a fun um, time. I uh, uh, I actually think that, but man, this wasn't really about No Mulder, just thought the show had been sucking. I, I actually think that the Robert Patrick episodes are slightly better than the very late Mulder episodes. I think that like... I believe that. They, they recover by having something fresh to do. Um... Mutton Bandit, I also thought the tattoo episode was good. The tattoo episode is good. It's very funny. Yeah. Um, man. Scully was correct about Luke Wilson being hot. Mulder also thought Luke Wilson was being hot. That's why he tried so hard. That episode seem ugly. So good. That episode is really good. Um, Had the kid from um, uh, Heavyweights in it. Okay. He played the vampire. Oh, the, he's very he funny the in that. vampire, yeah. The um, pizza delivery driver he was in heavyweights i haven't seen heavyweights shout out to ben stiller being at his absolute most psycho okay sure dodgeball is a spiritual sequel to heavyweights in a lot of ways sure okay that all sounds right uh we're about we haven't actually started prisoners dilemma we're about to i think he finally returned he's so happy i was beginning to get anxious Did something happen? Yes. It's Quark, oh. you see. He... Oh, no. He died. What? I got what mad. I Quark? killed him. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled his head off. He collapsed. Uh-oh. It happened so suddenly. We were just searching our room. Damn, this is strike two for uh, K what? being kind of suspicious. Yeah. Because they already think that he planted the space bomb. But there wasn't there someone else with them? Please, There'd have to be, right? To Numbers wise. Me. Clover is looking yeah, Clover. Oh, this condition Clover, could yeah. change at any moment. You should go. Oh, no. Tenmyoji shoved K aside and leapt through the yellow door. The rest of us exchanged a few startled bucks, then ran off after him. Quark, come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself. Something going on with his mouth here. <laughs> I was going to say they even like lowered the resolution on his face. <laughs> his is, a, is like deep, deep polygoning it. Oh no, he's got 240p disease. <laughs> he's going to drop to 4-3 soon. Tenmyoji grabbed Quark's shoulders and began to shake him desperately. Don't do that. It was Clover who stopped him. Hey, what are you doing? He's sick and we don't even know what's wrong with him. What if you make him worse? Damn. (laughs) Then what am I supposed to do? I have to save him. Try kicking him. (laughs) Save? That seems a little extreme. He does look like a Lazy Town character like this. He does look like the, the, the greedy boy from Lazy Town. God. Maybe he just has anemia or something. Yeah, get him some iron supplements. No, that's not it. I know him better than any of you. He doesn't have anemia. He's never just collapsed before. Well, then call an ambulance and stop freaking out about Bro, it. Bro, where are we? Dio. Son of a bitch. This is serious. The infirmary seems pretty well equipped. There are plenty of diagnostic tools, but without a doctor, there's not going to be much we can do with him. 
Oh, right. I'm a doctor. Well, we've got Luna. Luna? Oh, yeah. That's right. I remember Dio saying something. You have a medical license, don't you? Wait, really? He's an anesthesiologist. Is that true, Luna? Um, well, yes, but... You have to take a look at him, then. Please. Quark needs your help. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Sorry, I'm just one of those nervous girl doctors. <laughs> I think that machine right there is a medical scanner. Adam. It's called is that an Adam. I don't think it I recognize that, but it magnetic resonance seems important. Seems important. Examine and diagnose people. <laughs> so that thing can tell us what's wrong with Quark. Yeah, it does seem important. I'm just. Hmm. Yes. I'm sure there's an acronym they'll explain to us at some point. I believe it can. I don't want to rush you, but the sooner the better. Just let us know if you need anything. Of course. <laughs> She's scanning him at the checkout line? Yeah, she is. <laughs> um, I've learned that he's three dollars. <laughs> The whole process took only a few minutes. The machine scanned Quark's bodies, and within seconds, his results lit up the screen. Words too complicated for me to understand scrolled across it, and as she read them, Luna's face grew dark. She bit her lip and just stood there for a moment, looking down at Quark before she spoke. Well, I... I know what's wrong with him. I feel so terrible saying this, but Quark is... Quark has an infection. A viral infection. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't yes. tell me. He's been infected with a virus called Radical Six. He, he oh. needs to do a kickflip Radical now. Radical Six. You could subtract ri Radical Six from Rhizo Nine to get Awesome Three. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of this virus? Radical Six. Oh, I did mean. we see a newspaper with this in it? We did, yeah. Uh, yeah. I told Alice and Tenmyoji about it. Fi and I heard about it from Luna. Yeah, there it is. Dio and Luna were two of the first people to investigate the infirmary. They must have seen the newspaper clipping that Quark found. I'd stayed behind after the AB game and they'd all split up and gone into different rooms. It seemed like, one way or another, everyone had heard about Radical Six. <laughs> this virus's name is on everybody's lips. No. It's, it's the talk of the town. He can't... How could he have gotten infected? That's not possible. Something about the tone of his voice seemed strange. Why wasn't it possible? How could he have gotten infected? It was not possible. <laughs> that's when that's the tone of his voice that seems strange. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh, had Temi Oji known about Radical Six before the rest of us? There must be something we could do. Whoa. It was in the newspaper, right? So it's like. Wasn't it weird that no one had heard about it already? Yeah. Though, now that we know that three of us got put into sleep states, presumably, maybe that's like a clue to that. Also, maybe, yeah, maybe none of them read the newspaper. There was, didn't it say that the, uh, they put, there was a global, yeah. um, uh, lockdown? They sure did. Yeah, okay. Well, Adam says there's an antiviral serum called Excelivir. It's the only way to counteract Radical Six. If we can inject him with some, he should... He should be okay. Where is it? Shouldn't it be in the infirmary somewhere? You know, we looked around, but we didn't see anything. I don't trust a damn thing you say. I'm asking Luna. I'm sorry, but... Dio's telling the truth. Damn. We didn't find anything. Damn it. What about the other rooms? Sigma, what about you? Did you find anything? No, nothing like medicine. I mean, it was just like a park. Lots of vegetation and stuff, but no medicine. What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? We visited the laboratory. There were a number of chemicals and concoctions there. Some of which were medicine, 
Mm. I bet that we can make. For, I'm I bet we can make the medicine from the the concoctions in the lab and one of the vegetables from the garden. That it's like that, mushrooms and something else or something. That, you know what? There was just that one mushroom, or it's the the plant that was in the little potted plant thing. Oh yeah. Oh god. No god. Oh, he's god. he's going to. Oh god no. <laughs> Look, just to be sure, the three of you went to the treatment center, right? And you're sure it wasn't there? No, there was nothing even remotely like it. You went there too, didn't you? The only thing in the treatment center are those treatment pods. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I would put them in a treatment pod. I would probably do that. Treatment pods, that's it. Treatment pod, that's it. If we put Quark in one of those pods. For a moment, there was silence. Quark? Oh! Holy shit! That actually he got zombified. That did scare me. <laughs> oh, thank God! You're awake. Get away from me! Oh shit! What? Oh. Mark, what are you? <sighs> Sorry, Grandpa. I can't. I. I have to. Have to what? What are you talking about? Nice Isn't night. it obvious? You're a violent freak. <laughs> I have to escape. But how? Like this. I don't know if he's about to like hurt himself, so just a heads up in case. Quark's hand moved like lightning. He grabbed a hold of the scalpel and was driving it straight towards his heart. Yeah, I'm glad I said something. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Pretty tough for a kid. Hey, guys, I could use a hand here. Uh, yeah, right. On it. Use your other hand. Yeah, man. <laughs> me too. <laughs> only using one me. hand. Let go of me, you jerks! Oh, he's holding the camcorder. <laughs> right, yeah, of course. He, th <laughs> this has been a found footage film. Ten Miyoji. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? Get over here! Ten Miyoji! If he wants to die, then let him. Wow! Can you even hear me? Oh, right. Damn you! Bastards! Damn. Why won't you let me go? Butter is chill. I have to get out of this body! They can't lock away the soul! Once my body's gone, my soul can escape! Okay, that's... I'm into this, Sazu. Please! You have to let me go! Let me go! We are kind of getting... thingy now if this virus is making him want to die. Or like that episode of The X-Files, even. Yeah. I'm trapped here! Let me die! I like the fun screen shake. I have to die! Kill me! Somebody! Damn. Anybody? Really laying it on thick. Kill me! Kill me! Kill me! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine this coming out of your DS. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> Jesus, this kid's lost it. Hey, somebody get that scalpel away from him. Good. Thanks, whoever that was. Quark barely even managed, even seemed to notice the loss of the scalpel. He continued to scream and writhe like he was possessed. What are we going to do? We've got to calm him down somehow. Luna. Yes? Are there any tranquilizers in here? No. Well, I mean... What? They're Soparel Beta. Oh my god. Soparel? That's the anesthetic! The one that's in our bracelets! Good. Perfect. Hit him with some of that. What? Sh shoot this kid up now! He'll be fine. It's just an anesthetic, Tenmyoji. With uh, Halloween coming up, just make sure to check your kid's candy to make sure nobody puts Soparil Beta in it. Yep. It won't hurt him, I promise. But... Just hurry up and do it! Come on, Luna! What did, uh, what did, what did Ace make 
so we be out of? It was like a plant that he found in the yeah, in it was the a plant that he found in the ice nine in the coffin uh, in the sarcophagus. Co sarcophagus. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. Let me just. Oh no! They spilled it. Okay. I okay. swear to God, that was a gun <laughs> being loaded. Did you hear that? It sounded like glass breaking to me. There uh, was like a ch -ch -ch at the very end. Yeah. That's that's what I focused in on was her pulling out like a fucking nine millimeter. Good. Wait until he's now. Do it now. Right. No. Stop. Stop. Oh, it was a gun. It was a gun. It was a gun. We don't even have regular needles anymore. A lot changed between 2027 <laughs> and 28 or whatever. You know, they've got, that's a, auto injectors and, uh, there's, there's injectors that are like that. Yeah, but, uh, Not Ace necessarily gun needle. Shape. <laughs> and, and you're right. got this huge gun thing. Well, that's because they're in a cool... I've seen auto-injectors. They look like tubes, not like... That pistols. is right. They're not guns. I was like... I said it, and I was like, okay, I can... Uh, hold on a minute. <laughs> to be fair, though, if my EpiPen looked like a gun, I'd carry it around way more. Yeah. Holster it. Yeah. Open carry. Uh, <laughs> 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 open carry EpiPen. <laughs> <laughs> you know I always keep that thing on me. Yeah. Oh, my God. Respiration, blood pressure, brain waves, everything's normal. According to these readings, he's in a very deep sleep. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're good for Careful, now. Careful, it only lasts about 15 minutes. Yeah. Well, this, uh, the, the that might be the gun injector making it stronger, though. Maybe that, that was sure. why, why Ace didn't fall asleep long enough, was because it wasn't yeah. shot into him. What about the anesthetic? How long will it last? He shouldn't wake up for a few hours. Wrong. 15 minutes. Man, he sure was strong for such a little guy. I think that might be the virus's fault. <laughs> Viruses famously make people strong. It probably yeah. attacks the part of the brain that governs reason. Without anything to hold it back, his body was using every ounce of strength it had. Hmm. Yeah? How do you know? Huh? Oh, well, um... How much do you know about this Radical Six? Oh, not much. Well, they're trying to stop Spider-Man. I just noticed that her I necklace is a bird and cage. As as you do. Yeah. Makes you think. think. She lives here. Make you think. I don't know. Who can say? She's a prisoner here. All I've seen about it is that newspaper article. <laughs> that the truth? Why would I lie about that? I've seen other viruses do the same thing. I was just making a guess. I mean, she's supposed to be a medical professional, right? Yeah. This is not weird. So when Quark tried to kill himself, are you saying that was because of Radical 6 too? That's usually my excuse, yeah. Yes. Radical 6 too. The virus is evolved. Oh no, Radical 12. <laughs> Digital Root Radical 3, oh no. It's all recursive. Damn, I miss doing digital roots. Me too. What kind of virus is Radical 6, I asked, and then everybody did this. Uh, uh, what are you doing? I turned and followed Tenmyoji's gaze. Oh. There said Alice, her hand wrapped tightly around the scalpel. Apparently, she had been the one to take it away from Quark. The longer I looked at her, though, however, the more I wondered if she'd taken it to protect him or for some other more sinister reason. She didn't seem stable. In fact, she looked far more like Quark had a moment ago than I was entirely comfortable with. Her eyes were wow, flat and hollow. Her face was an emotionless mask. Somebody stop her. She was not well. <laughs> That's not fair. The mask was very emotional. <laughs> Alice? <laughs> hey, you feeling okay? We're all going to die. Huh? We're all dead already. Only terrorists would resort to biological warfare. But they will. Soon. Okay. Hey, what the hell are you talking about? You don't understand? All of humanity is going to die. 
The virus will spread. Adults, children, everyone. Everyone! Oh. There won't be anyone left! We're getting some good voice acting when people I start know. freaking out. I'm really into it. We, I've been goofing on it, but that's it's still good. I... I'd rather die here! <laughs> Wait! Alice! We were all too stunned to even try to restrain her. We just stood there as she spun around and left through the door. A lot of leaping through doors today. Yeah. Damn it. I shuck myself off and tuck after her. And tuck off after her. With a few moments of hesitation, it put too much distance and too many doors between us. Shit. Which way did she go? Right? Left? Mm. Mm. I was still trying to decide when everyone else poured out of the infirmary. You lost her. Yeah, that's the yeah. opposite of infirmary. <laughs> the uh, you go to the infirmary, get they make you sick. Oh yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go into the infirmary to get my limbs broken so I could go to the infirmary <laughs> and have them fixed. I don't know which way she went. Well, let's. Do you have any look. strep throat in? <laughs> Oh my god. I, you know, I was, I was just thinking, it's been a while. Could I get just like a, a small order of mumps? Quickly. She can't have gotten too far. Right. Look, if you find her, it's probably best not to shout or anything. Just do your best not to provoke her. Understood? Gotcha. Ten Miyoji. I think you should stay here with Quark. The rest of us can look for Alice. Sound good? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I stay here. Got it. All right, let's move, people. I don't know why him saying I to stay. Two ten Mioli to go help his grandson. Damn. Him saying I stay here made me think of a caveman for some reason. <laughs> and I don't know why. There's nothing grammatically <laughs> Tom, wrong Tom with it. Tom Waits as a caveman. Yeah. Would have been amazing role. Someone cast yeah. him as a caveman. Geico. Something. Geico, <laughs> please. <laughs> You imagine Tom Waits as the Geico cave man? <laughs> you can save 15% or more. I can't do a good Tom Waits anymore. Uh, oh, yeah. Get Just going. Buy it. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> At Fi's command, we scattered, filtering off into the different doors. As I ran, I thought, where should I look for Alice? Perhaps the lounge would be a good bet? Lounge. No one here, huh? Damn. Damn. Where did she go? And then he just starts mixing himself a drink. Complaining wasn't going to help The anything. robot from Flubber. Wait, what? what? You know the robot from Flubber? Uh, not really. That he marries at the end? He what? Flubber marries? Yeah, Flubber. Her is sort of a spiritual sequel to Flubber. To Flubber. Yeah, Flubber. I hardly know her. We're so funny. Yeah. <laughs> have you not seen Flubber? I mean, I have seen Flubber, but was I like five years old when I did? Yeah. Absolutely I was. psychotic movie, by the way. I I've mean, worth heard. a watch. It's not good. I think that it's like famously bad in a way that overstates its unpleasantness. It's not an unpleasant movie to watch. It's just not good. Okay, sure. Um. But yes, the yellow robot from Flubber, he gets married to the AI. He gives her a uh, like, very beautiful woman to live inside her screen. Oh. Uh, that he kisses the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you know what? I'm not touching that one. People in glass houses, etc. Who am I? I I would love to have a beautiful robot wife. Are you kidding? Sir, it's just, sometimes I believe I, I really started believing what Keith is saying before I remember he's Keith. All that is true. I yeah, wait. No why would you not believe Keith? 
Yeah, that's all real. I trust you implicitly, man. Thank you. See my Flubber. Marriage. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I think that I am conflating two things. I'm conflating two parts. Ah, uh, okay. Of, okay, here's what I'm conflating. But that's not lying. I'm not, not lying. It was a conflation. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like technically correct. Um, that's kind of correct. In the movie, he has a yellow robot that he builds. He's in love with the robot. The robot does have a beautiful woman that AI that he puts in there that he is in love with. That AI robot dies in flubber he also falls in love with a real human woman but he's too busy working in the lab late one night to go to his <laughs> own wedding yeah so he does a facetime with her she walks down the aisle with one robot he's in the lab working in his wedding clothes with another robot and when they do please kiss the bride they each kiss the facetime screen on the robot oh my god they predicted Which is, discord by the way, red flag for the yeah. marriage i think i agree shoot <laughs> nothing in the treatment center either we need to find her quick or she's gonna do something bad like get married to a to robin williams long distance <laughs> if we hadn't stopped quark yeah i need a hurry Damn, they did predict Soldier Boy. Kiss me through the phone. Banger. Banger of a song. Head to the garden I don't next. Know that one. That one's rules. Kiss me through the phone. Kiss me through the phone. It's a, it's a good one. But li you listen to the Gummy Bear song, you could listen to that one too now. It's better than that for sure. Sorry. Well, it sounds like real music. The gummy bear. Yeah, that's the thing. It is song real music. Is not meant to be real music. Hey, what the? I'm sorry. I'm like really hung up on Flubber now. Uh, Jenny sighs okay. in the chat. He is not in love with the robot. The robot is in love with him. He makes a, she makes a hollow projection to kiss him while he's asleep. She also cancels the alarm he had set about going to the wedding at the start of the film. Okay, I think that. That's true. I think that that's true that the robot is in love with him. I think that he's in love with her, but not in the same way, I guess. Oh, okay, sure. I forgot. Yes, yeah, she makes the hot woman to kiss him. That's totally true. It's been a long time since I've seen Flubber. <gasps> oh, my God. Alice. Fi killed her. Oh, there you are. Good. I just killed her. Can you help me bury the body? I'm glad you showed up. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what, what, what? I just got here a minute ago. She was like this when I found her. When you showed up, I was getting ready to carry her to the infirmary. Oh, she got too cold, so she's in cold sleep now. Her, her body <laughs> temperature dropped. <laughs> I haven't seen her. Would it be, have been better if the phone loved him and he was just like... No, you're just my friend. I have not seen that movie either. So, maybe. Damn. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get Joaquin Phoenix on here to answer some questions. <laughs> Joaquin, come on the show. Come on the show. I loved you in Joker too. <laughs> yeah? I haven't seen it. Don't lie to Joaquin. Sorry. I loved you in... Uh, I loved you when you were never really here. Not really a fun, lighthearted movie to talk about on a stream, though. I'm f I'm blanking on other movies. That just uh, I loved you in The Master. Uh, oh, I haven't seen The Master. The Master's good. Uh, loved you in Gladiator. What do you think of the sequel? Do you want to watch Hunter Hunter? Yeah. I Yeah, Fi does. What? Okay, so Alice is still alive. Her breathing and pulse seem normal. She doesn't appear to have any obvious external wounds. So she's just unconscious. Looks like it. What about the scalpel? Doesn't look like she has it. Figure she probably dropped it on the way here. Hmm. Anyway, 
We need to get her to the infirmary. Give me a hand here. <laughs> right. Um, I'm gonna retract my I loved you in blank Joaquin Phoenix looking yeah. at his IMDB. I don't think that I've ever loved him in anything. Fair enough. Sorry, I haven't seen Bo is Afraid. I know people were hot on that movie before it came out, then I never heard anything about it, so maybe that was good. I heard it was okay. Uh, Alice was lighter than I'd expected, and Fi and I managed to set off toward the infir mm. infirmary at a the brisk ice nine. Yeah. Lighter than water. All right, please pay attention, everyone. You need to hear this. The Atom has finished scanning Alice. What did it say? Her results are identical to Quark's. <laughs> She's nine? She has also been infected with Radical <laughs> 6. Thank you. I was, I was like, oh no, was that a flop? <laughs> a, fl a flop? She's four feet tall. <laughs> she, she's Quark's. She's a uh, Tenmyoji's grandson. On her way back, Fi had gone off to retrieve the rest of the participants. Seven set of eyes widened as Luna spoke. <laughs> right, because Kay's oh, eyes no. can't widen. No, wait. Seven sets. Hold up, Kay. How do oh, they know no. Kay's eyes widened? Her glitch smile. Oh my god, yeah, it's oh back. No, oh no, <laughs> no. No, I'm sad about this, really. What's going to happen to her? <laughs> oh, we need more clover just because of this glitch. This is an, an like ink blot situation, but her, whatever the ball six. thing is on her head looks like Jack Skellington. Oh yes, it me. very much does. That is believable. She does have a sort of hot topic energy going yeah. on. I think it fits, even though it's, I think it's just meant to be spotted. Yeah. Like, like pink leopard print, but. There's a special antiviral treatment. Do you know what immunoglobulin is? Immunoglobulin? Mm. Damn, I said that <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Shit. Wow. Same. You uh, Dio. And I'm wearing that exact same outfit too. Damn. <laughs> it's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical Six. Those antibodies are the basis for Excelivir. Wait, what about those pods in the treatment center? Can't we just stick them in those? Right. I thought of that too, so I went and took a closer look at them. Unfortunately... They can't cure it. Correct. They can suppress the symptoms for a while, but they can't kill the virus itself. Isn't that still the valuable? The only way we can help Alice and Quark is if we can find some Excelivir. But the pods will keep them from getting any worse, right? Yes. Well, then what are we waiting for? One of you, grab Alice. We're going to the treatment center. Packed and Amber says Sylvia is circus coded. You call me a fucking clown? You call me some kind of clown? Cause I, not anymore. I dropped out of college. No. That's what. This is a different kind of clown. No, no, no. I mean, I it was clown college to be clear. Like I, I'm just uncertified. I'm allowed to do some mild. You're saying you're a gray market clown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm allowed to do some mild gest, some like minor gesturing, the occasional um. Mm sort of like um i'm really qualified to be a village idiot like that that mm -hmm. you only need the two years for that but otherwise you have a partial gag license yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like provisional i'm on i'm on yeah. probationary that's a yeah on the job experience can substitute for like the last like year or so the the accreditation so Is this medicine? It's actually grape juice. Hey, look, what? it says Excelivir right on it. Yeah, it really does. What? Wait, where did it come from? Quark shifted slightly as Temioji moved, in, moved him and something fell out of his pocket with a soft clink. It was in Quark's pocket? Or was it well, in Temioji's pocket? 
Oh, I guess I can't tell. It was slightly ambiguous. It would be very weird if it was in Temioji's pocket. Um, Hespara in the chat asks, so setups but no punchlines, which is kind of how I describe my style of comedy uh, frequently. Um, sorry, what did you say? Better than punchlines but no setups. Well, uh, I can't remember what I said. Yeah, no worries. Hold on. There's a name on the label here. Axel, it was in Axel the basket! Axel of here. So that was my punchline. Mm. With no setup. Oh man, I bet it would have killed with the setup though. I know, but it, see, it's worse. Yeah, but I'm like, I'm feeling, <laughs> oh, I'm feeling in the blanks now. <laughs> that's pretty good, man. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, like, it's, it's, it's a little avant-garde. Let's the audience sort of fill it in. And it can be any joke you want. That's the one thing <laughs> that can cure Radical Six. Uh, why did Quark have it? Perhaps he found it earlier. He synthesized it himself. Earlier when? We explored the laboratory. It was on the other side of the red door. I happened to notice Quark putting something in his pocket. He hid it? Whether or not that was his intention is unclear. I did not have the opportunity to ask, as he collapsed immediately afterwards. It didn't feel appropriate to go digging around in his pockets for him. Yeah, you didn't want to run his pocket, see what how much change he had on him. Yeah. And to be honest, it had also slipped my mind. Hmm. We were rather preoccupied with getting him to the infirmary as quickly as possible. Who cares about the details? We have it. Hurry up and give it to him, Luna. Uh, hey, hold on a minute. What about Alice? Does it really matter if she goes first or not? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure I believe in this. This vaccine. <laughs> Wow! Wow! Yeah, I think this actually might be worse. <laughs> <laughs> you all heard him. I'm sorry, but I don't think we can do that. What? There's only enough here for one person. Is there? That's a lot. I mean, That's so much. Maybe you need a big dose. The only way we have to administer this is with the injection gun. And the way it functions, it uses a whole bottle each time you pull the trigger. In other words, we can't split the dose in two or something. Right. I agree with JL Pollock. Quark's little, he doesn't need that much. It's like, try, try it. Try splitting it. Well, they said that you make, you make it from the blood of someone that's immune. Yeah. So couldn't you give someone the vaccine and then synthesize a new vaccine based while the other on... person's in the pod yeah yeah stepping over to quark she quickly ran her hands through his clothes then stepped back with a frown and a small shake of her head nothing that one bottle was it do you think there might be some more back at the in the laboratory no unfortunately not no oh god <laughs> she looks so torn up about it just enough medicine for one dose. Only one person can be saved. Who should we give it to? Alice or Quark? What the hell is this? There's no way we're only going to save one of them. And what are we going to do? That's funny. I feel pretty confident about saving the kid instead of the person who betrayed us. Yeah, me too. Uh, do I have to spell it out? We're going to save them both. How? That's... Um, I'm an ideas guy. Yeah. I needed to calm down. Think. There had to be some way to save both of them. It was there. I knew it. Let me just put on my uh, scientist hat. Whoa. Whoa. All right, everybody. Bye. Yeah. We <laughs> must. said we're done. <laughs> Damn. To be continued, that hasn't happened before, has it? That, so we never had that happen because of the order that we did things in in 999. That can happen, but... Oh, so yeah. it goes like, you can't fix this because you don't know. Yeah. Oh. We haven't we haven't uh, with, withdrawn from the Morphic Field set. Yeah, I'm trying to get back to the flowchart, but it's not letting me. Does the stop button work? Uh, the stop button just means it's going to stop after every line. Oh, it's not going to, like... 
stop playing cutscene. It's technically not the first end we got, Honey Skeleton, because it's technically not an ending. It's a it's a stopping point. We will have to experience some of the rabbit again. That is. So we have to play more. So we just got really lucky in nine nine nine. We played much. through in a way that ge- that never stops us. There are. There's only like one like big to be continued, I think, and then everything else we, I because we got some help from the chat with the lock stuff in that one mm-hmm. towards the end. So but yeah, we could do a totally different path. Yeah, or we could go to the split. Is that the A B room? That is the A B room. We would choose a betrayal. Yeah, what are you feeling? Um, that's a good question. I don't really want to do that puzzle again i guess we wouldn't have to we would go and we would we would be the ones in the treatment me yeah treatment we, room, we'd right? be in a different room uh, presumably okay. yeah yeah let's let's uh you know i uh, oh. i guess i don't want to talk to the rabbit anymore today we could probably fast forward through some of that you think so uh it depends the... on the scenes because some scenes probably repeat some st- like i imagine like some there's there's repeated dialogue that they will allow me to skip but Okay. I don't know. Uh, I would say we should either do the middle path or the far right path. Let's let's betray Alice. Okay. Because I think that'll just give... I, I don't want to... We're just coming up on two hours. I'm, I, I, I don't think that's necessarily the best stopping point. Um, so I'd like to do a little more. But I think if we start from the um, first jump, we'll basically just... Unless you want to just do another room. Like, we could just do that, and then that would be the stream. Um, but, like, the way this works is we'd be going straight into... Um, into the CDs. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, let's betray Alice. Okay, cool. Yes, I let's see if jump. she's cool about it. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, it's almost time. What are you going to pick? If you aren't going to do it, then I... No, I'm fine. I'll You're going to choose... How do I... There we go. We did it. We're the betrayers. We're the betrayers. Watch out. Oh, it's still skipping. Oh, okay. It must have just been the same dialogue as last time if it let me skip it. It's fine I stepped out of the A-B room. I could see the others running toward the projection, shoving and pushing to get closer. Well, you chose what I wanted you to choose. I guess I should say thanks. So, uh, thanks. Oh, come on. You don't need to do that. I just made the obvious choice. Obvious? Because we're all idiots. Well, I'm sure Alice chose Betray. That meant we had to, we pretty much had to choose Betray, right? How do you know what she's going to choose? I guess you could say I just know. Are you making fun of it's me? It's true. We do now know. Yeah, we, we do. Maybe... You! We were getting the rabbit either way. Oh my god. So. But this is where the rabbit says. Oh my god. What are you kids doing out? We're up after Oh wait, I can't. I don't know. I couldn't skip that, but I thought I could. No, because we that was new. I would remember if the rabbit said that. I mean, it did say yo before. Did it do the was up? It did. The he and Fido? Yeah, you just blocked that out. Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get ready to rock! Enjoy, everybody. I would like to the purge this round. If everybody please <laughs> to this monitor. Okay, I do like that still, though. I do like that. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> we just got fucked by the morphic field set. Yeah. Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. I think the pairings are different this time around. That sucked. <laughs> hey, Alice, what the hell is this? What? You chose Betray last time, so I chose Betray too. No, why? Wait a minute. Last time? What on earth are you talking about? Hey, at least they immediately just addressed it the way... Yeah, okay. I'm coming yeah. around. Yeah. Um, can you tell me one thing? What? When exactly did you press the button? Five minutes before the deadline. There's that announcement, right? 
I pressed it right after that. Why? <laughs> what? No, that can't. What's going on? When Fi and I chose Ally, Alice picked Betray. I just made the most rational choice. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose This is trend. pretty sick. It's crazy that Anyone who thinks Sigma is, is just acknowledging that this is real without ever, like, going over it. I like that, though. I do, too. Semi chose Betray and her vote changed to Ally. Why? What was different? Had history somehow changed because of my choice? No, that was insane. If Alice had somehow known I had chosen Betray and chosen Ally in response, at least that would have followed the principle of cause and effect. But what had just happened was something entirely different. There was no way Alice could have known what we would choose when we, she made her decision. Besides, if she had known we intended to portray her, there's no way she would have chosen Ally. In other words, she must have made her decision without any knowledge of ours. Let's say we're thinking about a game of rock, paper, scissors. Oh, let's say. Yeah, I throw out a rock. Right after that, Alice throws down paper. Obviously, I lose. So I, I go back in time and decide to whip out the scissors this time. This time Alice chooses rock. I lose again. But that's fine, because it still makes sense. My actions in the past caused Alice's actions in the future. Easy. But what had happened just to, What had just happened in the A-B game wasn't like that. Let's go back to that innocent game of rock, paper, scissors. This time Alice is the one who threw out her hand first. But in this situation, there's no way for me to know what it is. So I decide to go with Rock. Now Alice's choice is revealed, and it turns out she went with... Paper. Damn it. I lose and I'm pissed off. So once again, I go back in time to try and change history and erase my loss. What will I choose this time? That's not even a question. Scissors, obviously. After all, last time Alice went with Paper. Here's the already important part. Oh, here's the important part. When I make this choice, Alice has already made her choice. Sure, of my victory, I throw out a pair of scissors, but... What the hell? My rage would be oh. white hot! How could this have happened? What the hell just happened? What the freaking crap? Alice's hand had been paper before. How did it change to rock? Obviously, there's no cause and effect here, but there is some sort of, like, Schrodinger, feline, maybe... Oh, no, that won't work. Schrod Schrodinger's dog situation. Um... Since Alice's choice was in the past and mine was the future, how could that even happen? How could the future influence the past? It's almost like a some sort of bug flapped its wings and it changed. It like caused a like a tsunami across the world mm. or something theoretically. Like the causal moth. Yeah, like the causal moth, the famous causal moth. <laughs> we love the causal moth. It wasn't theoretical. Now, this had actually happened. What the hell was going on? No, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Why the wait, fuck wait, wait, was wait. I talking so casually about going back in time? Well, you had two edibles. Good edibles. question. That kind of stuff doesn't happen in real life. Right, of course. Time travel is impossible. There is absolutely, positively no way to travel through time. But if that was true... The question isn't, did I travel through time as time travel? It's, why am I taking my delusions so seriously? <laughs> Especially yeah. when they've been proven to not be reliable. I am. I ask myself that frequently. <laughs> Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. Hey, did you have a stroke or something? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Besides. Why do I have to answer your questions? I should be the one yelling at you. She's got a point. Yeah, we should because apologize. Because you two, I've only got one VP left. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right? <laughs> what in God's name is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I really, I seriously feel terrible about this. Forget it. I'm never going to trust you or Fi again. You'll pay for this. Alice stormed off. She threw one last hurt, scornful look over her shoulder as she left. What a diva. I love her. And it stabbed me right through the heart. Wow. We never she talked about the fucking comedy. lion ninth eat the sun thing. 
Oh yeah. Memento Mori, the ninth lion, ate the sun. No, didn't, they didn't even reference it. Yeah. I guess it's because the kid tried to kill himself. Right. That would sort of take your attention away from the funny graffiti, I suppose. One of the other teams seemed to be dealing with a similar issue. I really don't know what I can say. We had no idea you would choose our... Yeah, saw this. No way I'd choose Betray, not with Clover on the other side. What? What? What do you mean? Do They're you friends. have an interest in Clover? Bro. What? No, no, that's not... No. What is it then? Well, she looks thrilled. <laughs> she does. <laughs> She's very excited at the prospect. You'd have to be crazy to pick She doesn't Clover. not look like someone that would be interested in a 65-year-old man. Yeah, you know, you've got a point. The only way it'd make any sense to do that is if you really, really trusted the other person. So you're saying you don't trust me then? Duh. Are you senile? Why the hell would I trust some old geezer I just met a few hours ago? Ah, uh, I see. Say no more. Damn. Didn't think it'd hurt this much. Damn, dude. Damn. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You're starting to get kind of creepy. <laughs> creepy, huh? <laughs> Not helping, dude. Uh, creepy, huh? Ah. That scared me. Sorry. I understand. I guess I just haven't had enough time to earn your trust. Um, I suppose you could say that. I just didn't really expect you to be so nice about it. Well, looks like those guys managed to get through this all right. Figure that means the fault here's gotta be mine. Huh? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so... What's that? Uh, Kay and Clover changed, and Alice changed, and everything else was the same. Uh, did, did oh, we change? changed. We changed. I could have sworn that these were the, the other two teams had the same results last time, but they might have had different dialogue. I thought that Clover and Kay were ally. Oh, maybe I might be wrong. Maybe I'm I'm accessing my morphic field. Okay, so, you know. Ellis is Clover and Kay betrayed, so that's two people that I thought that. Uh... When Sigma was saying other teams have, are having problems too, and it, we skipped to Temioji, I thought that it was being like, this is different than it was last time. I think the like, dialogue is just different, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, Cormorant read in the chat says you get a different conversation each time. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. We only did what anybody else would do. Right, Mr. Dio? Yeah, exactly. This might be the same. Dio, Quark, and Luna, on the other hand, seem to have resolved themes. Seem to have resolved things amicably by all choosing ally. No doubt, we were all wishing we'd done the same. But why did Dio sounded so awkward? What had happened in the AB room? Only Dio and Quark knew for sure. That is more filled in than. Zero. When does the next round start? Yeah. Oh God! Don't talk to the rat. What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get 9 BP? That's impossible without a second round. <laughs> yeah. I guess you got a point. You're right. There will be. Oh, yeah! Let's go! Hell yeah. If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be 10 meal or less. One or the other. Or... <gasps> it might be both of them. <laughs> oh, this is just who's gonna... Who might die next turn. What? Yeah. Why am I going to die? Hmm. I guess I can tell anyone. I'm. And we know this too. 
fucking off. Alice and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two. What? What the heck? This is important stuff. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Well. I think this rat might be evil. Yeah, I have a feeling. I, I think that some like sixth grader should kill it and all its uh, family. <laughs> Is there anything else you've conveniently left out? It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. I think it's fair. I think it's fine to not explain all the rules. We've had a lot of them explained. It's not like yeah. anybody else knew. It's right? funny how there could still be rules with how many rules we have heard about. <laughs> right, Fido? Yeah, I guess so. I also wonder if this, like, doesn't... You can't go... Like, there's so much of this path that we've seen immediately dealing with the other path, and I wonder if it would immediately be like, you have to go do the other one before you can see all this, or if they just let you see what happens in the ally path, even if you pick Betray. To, like, hint at the... the yeah, I don't know. Stuff. Skip, 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 skip. I'm so... Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so satisfying. We freaking love to skip. When I skip, you skip, we skip. Um, These are probably all going to be the same. Yep. Ugh. <sighs> What are you doing here? Okay, yeah, because she hates us now, so there'll be new yeah. stuff here. <laughs> Still mad, huh? Obviously. Oh, come on now, you don't have to get your panties in a bunch. Don't say any of those words. That's yeah. easy for you to say, Dio. Bunch is fine. You can say bunch of grapes. Yeah, but if I ever hear Dio say the word panties again, I'm shooting him with the, the soap roll gun. Tenmyoji and I only have one. You do understand what that means, don't you? That's no reason to take your anger out on people. You won't get your BP back by being a jerk to him. What's this? You're gonna take his side? I thought you of all people would agree with me. I do. No, you don't. You don't get it. Why would you care? You've got what, maybe five? Damn! Maybe less? I'm not- Tim like such a sad guy. He's got depression. You get depression. I'm still young. I want to live a long life. There's so many things I still want to do. Like what? She's the oldest well, one here. Well, let's see. Yeah, that's true. I want to wear <laughs> lots of gorgeous a few clothes. thousand years by want... my count. We saw this stuff already, where she talks about how she wants yeah, to go shopping. Just to avenge her dad. Oh, right, oh, yeah. that too, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, There's I no only remembered the misogyny. <laughs> I only remembered the killing. <laughs> Damn. We should just focus on getting out of here. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I cannot get over the Team America thing. Every he, time I see yeah. him, he looks like a fucking Team America guy. A movie I have not seen. That's... I, you don't need to. Um, no. Um, I was a... Uh, I was a South Park hater from way back. So I never wanted to see. I wish I had been. I I had I had a South Park phase. I was a thirteen year old. Um, I remember. Did this come up? This had. Where to do you plan happened. on going? I remember saying these exact words. We recently. probably have talked about this. Maybe it was on Run Button though. But I remember being in third grade and like people were talking about, um, Hanky the Christmas Poo. Yeah, this definitely. And I, oh, and I was like. like Come on, guys. Get a fucking sense of humor. Yeah, you've, you've told me that before. And meanwhile, I was the kid being like, oh, it's poo and it sings. <laughs> I mean, like, real talk, I was always more of a family guy kid, but, like, you know, there's some uh, things. I'm not a family guy person either, but family guy is better than It so definitely is. Easily. I see. Right. Uh, okay. Later, bro. Later, bro. Uh, he's- that's new. He called us bro this time. Yeah, for bro's name. 
Betrayal bros. Yeah, because I betrayed a woman, so he's like, I'm on your side, dude. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. Betraying women, huh? Yeah, I hate broads, too. Yeah. If I'd ever had a chance to do that, I would have. Oh, Sigma. Perfect. No, this is this is Schrodinger's cat, and then... Oh, no, we already saw the grandpa, grandpa tape stuff, I think. Oh. Clover's voice shattered the silence. You guys, hurry! Has something happened? Yes! I mean, sort of. I mean, we found something! Is this the bomb? What did you find? It's horrible! It's really scary! It's gotta be the bomb. Oh, never mind! Just shut up and follow me! You'll understand when you see it. Where is it's it? It's right over here in the next room. Just follow me. Whoever was first in the room followed by Kay, she said nothing, just pointed under the bed. The three of us crouched down and followed her finger. There it was, the bomb. What the hell is this? I think it's a... a bomb. B-b-bomb? No way. So, thank you, Sigma. Wait, we can do this. Oh no, never mind. Goodbye. I'm real skip happy now that I have unlocked the ability. I'm constantly checking. That's a normal place. Normal earth stuff, normal yeah. earth scene. Normal earth atmosphere. The same bomb I'd seen in my vision. Then it hadn't been a hallucination. Had it actually been a premonition? Okay, I guess there is a we little bit of reason why. Sigma would take stock in his uh Well because he his... had the we had the one right at the beginning with Phi too. Yeah, yeah we did. Right. Yeah. Luna's out rounding them Which up. Treated as such a certainty. Yeah. They should be here in just a few seconds. <laughs> See? Where is it? Where's this bomb? No sooner had she spoken the words than the rest of our fellow captives appeared. Luna pushed through them and pointed at the bomb. There! You see? For several mom long moments, we just stared in silence, Skip. <laughs> Who was the first person to find this? Me! And... and Luna! Right, I think Kay and Quark found it last time. Yeah, they we did, yeah. We were searching this room. I wonder if anybody's going to be suspicious of either of them like they were of Kay. Well, I think we are about to get that. I, th I thought you and Luna were in the lounge. Well, yeah. We looked all over, but we couldn't find anything there. So we gave up on the lounge and came here. I can confirm that. I wanted to look around the lounge some more, so I stayed back. You guys must have found it when you got here then? Yes. How did you know it was a bomb? Well, I mean, I could tell just by looking at it. Why? Well, during my train... <laughs> Clover. Why? <laughs> and then she just immediately starts giving up government what? secrets. During my train. During my train. Oh, no, maybe maybe she worked on a train and there was a bomb on the train. Oh, maybe. It was like, uh, what was that, uh... Chris Evans movie. Dude, I could not name a single Chris Evans movie. The one on the train, the uh, the guy that did Parasite. Oh, Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer. Okay, uh, yeah. See, that's not. That's, I don't think of that as a Chris Evans movie because it's. Good it thing. is. It is. It is though. It is. You're right. My bad. This is definitely a bomb. I guarantee. Also, it. you could have said Captain America, which is technically me and Chris Evans movie. Yeah, but like those aren't movies to no, me. Those aren't. Those are roller coasters. That's right. Me and Scorsese. To the How end. do you know? Yeah, I'm I'm hanging with Marty on that one. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was him that said that. I just do, okay? You sounded pretty sure about the switch too. How do you know all this? Let's just say it's an occupational hazard. Wait, Alice has info on the Switch too? She, oh my God, her dad <laughs> works at Nintendo. What kind of occupation do you have? I can't tell you that. Spare me the bullshit. Damn. 
This isn't time for keeping secrets. Please. Just trust me. It's not the time for keeping I'm secrets, but we, we moved off of Clover but saying sure my training and then gasping. Really yeah. Fast. I was like, oh, and I guess she had a train. Kind of bomb. It's this an anti stuff we've seen, yeah. I like that the music cues still change. Right, antimatter bomb and all. Okay. This is. I really like watching this. I think it's fun that they don't just jump you ahead. Chromatic doors. They should let you play any over. any game like this. Five for, uh, minutes for like, remain efficiency. until chromatic doors close. Every yeah, every video game should be as efficient as possible. That's why uh, my my guiding principle in life is is who needs to enjoy things as long as it's efficient you know that's why i only play idle games because my least favorite because i want to have played a game without actually having yeah. to do it so i can work and gr be on my grind set when it's when while playing the video game you know yeah we need to figure out who's gonna go through which door <laughs> Um, well, it's hard enough just to know that attention. somewhere a game is being played for my, for me. Exactly. Um, it's 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 I'm optimized that way, you know. I'm only saying, just like the last time, we've got we okay. We're the real sigmas. That's damn straight. This is the sigma grind set. Option A: Luna and I pair up with Clover and go through the green door. We saw this already, but they're making me read it. And so I'm presuming we're not doing the, Alice is not going to want to go through with us, you know? Um, so we're probably not going through the blue door this time. Correct. Uh, if we get a... Hmm. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Okay. How do we want to well, do this? you decided the first time, right? Yeah. Then can I decide this time? Why, why you? I think I deserve it. I only have one BP left. Doesn't it seem like the fair thing is to let the person who's at the greatest disadvantage choose? Wow. Wouldn't you agree? Playing the victim card. I, the thing is, she does have a point. <laughs> she has a point. Well, but we know that, that she also tried to, to choose, choose last too. time right after betraying us. That is true. But again, I kind of love her for that. I mean, you've only got one VP, right? You've got a point, but how about we listen to what Alice wants first? So tell us, which door and which people do you want? The green door. And I want to go with Kay and Quark. Okay. I see. Option B. So we are going with Phi to the that red room. Tenmyoji okay. and Dio will go with Clover through the blue door. Is that all right with you, Tenmyoji? Yeah, sure. I don't mind. Why? If we go through there together, that means you'll be playing against me in the next A-B game. Are you really, really sure? Oh yeah, I'm sure. Matter of fact, that's why I want to go with you. You said you didn't trust me, right? Well, I'd like to change your mind. I figure this will give me the chance. Huh. Um... I've been wanting to pair up with Alice, too. There's something I want to talk to you about. Hmm. Mm. Oh. And that is... Y'all snine for ice nine. We'll get to that later. <laughs> He's snining right now. He's snining hard. Alice's yeah, first definitely. Would be option B then? Yes. What about the rest of you? Is that okay too? Yeah, I don't mind. As far as how I felt about that... Oh. Oh, is this an actual diver here? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Look at that. Yes or no? I think that we should give it to... Say yes? Yeah, to Alice. She deserves it. Yeah, that's fine. I don't have any problems with it. We thought we were paying her back and it didn't work, and so now we fucked her. Yeah, so now we'll be nice. No objections. And we're all set. Let's go, everybody. Ten seconds remain until chromatic... Doors closed. Nine, eight, seven. They cut it so close. 
You know, they're not exactly the most... They're not like us. They're not optimizing. They're not efficient, you know? Yeah. They're out here playing their freaking video games. And this is why they lose. They like, collapse, getting mysterious viruses. Embarrassing. Yeah. Never happened to me. <laughs> I've, I've never been and, infected with a global say, if I, virus. <laughs> if I did collapse from a virus, I would still be generating income from my passive income sources. Your smart investments, my many shorts and stock bonds that I've invested in. Always generating. Food, baby. Yeah. One, zero. I got in on Dio coin. I'm really excited about it. Chromatic doors. Closing. Yeah, I was in on Dio coin when it was worth uh, eight one thousandths of a penny. And now it's worth um, uh, six hundredths of a penny. Which is huge. That's a huge increase. That's just value, like, hand over fist. Yeah. I tried to withdraw, and they said not that I I couldn't yet withdraw. Yeah. So I think soon I'll withdraw. I think they'll let us at some point. That's what they said they would. They said they would, so, like... No one would lie about cryptocurrency. It's a dead end. All three doors seem to be locked. Yeah, looks like it. I wonder what this thing is. It looks like the thing next to the number nine door. It's got a lever. Try pulling it, Sigma. It might be dangerous. Maybe it'll trigger an explosion. Or possibly it shocks you when you pull it. Who knows? Right. Then I have no choice. Do you really think I'd say that, you heartless monster? There's nothing on either side, is there? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, sorry for the confusion. What the fuck? Uh, I'm not reading that, Sigma. I'm not reading your rude comment. It's called dressing modestly. I'll have you know I'm a C cup. What the fuck? <laughs> if you're a C cup, I'm packing 12 inches. What? This is, we continued in that vein for some time until, <laughs> for some time? For some time. Sigma is worse than Junpei, which I can't believe. I think you're right though. I'm not saying, uh, no, Hellerivar, I'm not doing that one. <laughs> Come on, you it's, should do it. It's not good option. <laughs> what, I see Cup and then what? you can fill in the rest? Okay. Oh. <laughs> It sounded like you took my take. Is that okay? <laughs> Thank you for pulling the lever. Only the one on the left opened. <laughs> well, we should get going anyway. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Oh. What the? Control room. Yeah, what is this place? It looks like some kind of control room. Damn, Keith! Damn, nailed it. You really yeah, did. You I've seen a movie. Of some sort of <laughs> side of this window. Maybe a generator? Did they not mention a control room before? They might have. I, I don't remember them talking about a control room, but someone would have gone here. No, we actually, because the, the other form. rooms they went to were the treatment room and the infirmary. So no one's been here right. yet. I think oh. they open differently depending on the configuration. Got it. Wait, what is this? Maybe a generator. Oh, okay. Split up and look around. We need cards with the moon on them for the next AP game, right? Yep. They're probably in this room somewhere. Then let's get started. Hmm, the moon, what's that got to do with anything? I don't know. Who could say? I mean, it'd be ridiculous if that's where we were. Um... Makes no sense, though. Okay. You want to hear what I'm thinking? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe we call it. Do do what we did last time. Come back in with a puzzle. I felt like that was a good flow for this. Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. We kind of got an end. We got like a half ending. We got a, a, a roadblock, which, uh, you know, I think yeah. is still important. We can go progress. back to there and continue down that. Path. Exactly. Once we have the thing that unlocks it, we're, we're all set. Who knows when that will be, but I'm sure the game will inform us. 
Um, Importantly, this seems like a much longer game oh. than 999. Oh, definitely is, right? Like, just look at the chart comparatively. Yeah. Um, and e even, like, the length is longer. The length and the width. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh... This it, game's packing 12 inches. It's, I, yeah, I was gonna, t I, was, I didn't wanna, <laughs> I didn't wanna. I heard you struggling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I would. Um, uh, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Um, we'll be back soon. Uh, I, actually, before we go, I'm gonna check. I don't know if anything else is happening tonight, but I'm gonna double check. Uh, by the way, you should uh, support the show by going to friendsofthetable.cash. Yes, Keith, please, please, please plug the things while I do this. Uh, did you hear that? What? Oh, I guess I have my mic setting wrong. Oh, did you not hit the button? Oh, you know what? I some, For some reason, it got muted. Friends, 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 friends of friendsofthetable.cash. There we go. I was pressing it, and I couldn't hear it, and I was like, wait, I can see that the thing is going, but it was it was because it was muted. <laughs> Table.cat. Thank you so much. Um, what else? Terrible. What else we got? Um, what else have we been putting up lately? Uh, check out the Patreon. We're gonna have the next DBZ episode up soon, right? Yeah. I think you mentioned uh, that at the beginning of the Saturday. New Club Plus. Yeah. Yeah. Coming out Saturday. I was gonna come out last week, and I was busy, and I had some. I was having some software issues that I've been having, but I think I fixed them finally. Um. And, uh, yeah, the beginning of the most recent MCP has the episodes that you should watch, uh, which I think it's 31, 42, 46, and 47 of Dragon Ball Z Kai, if I'm remembering. But definitely check that if you're thinking about subscribing to Friends of the Table Cash and, and watching the Dragon Ball Z bonus episodes, then that's probably the best way to find out. What yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, I can confirm no Dragon Age tonight, but it will be back tomorrow with Janine, so make sure you're following the Twitch so you know when it's live. Um, yeah. We'll be back sometime in the near future with this. We will uh, hopefully get less Sigma talking about tits and dicks. His penis. Yeah. 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 More, actually more tit talk, but less penis. It's TikTok, not. <laughs> it's a different thing. I know that there's a lot of that sort of content on there, but it is just called TikTok. Okay, I'll, I'll remember that. Yeah, I won't, I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> and I know you won't. Uh, thanks, everybody. We'll catch you later.